There it goes. Hello, everyone. Face if you're welcome to... Okay, it's behind me. It's fine. Um, some shadow bringers. Oh, no. Fucking stream deck, bro. <sighs> I, dude. I've been having so much problem with uh, my stream deck lately. But anyways, welcome back. We're going to be playing some shadow bringers. Um, so this weekend we play a little bit. And I did have, I did buy the expansion. However, uh, more buoyant it's a birch. How's it going, birch? Birch, welcome to the stream. Um, but it was not. It, they just gave me a key, so I had to load it up. So, um, I re I realized that because I couldn't sleep, so I logged on because I wanted to see if I could figure out some profession stuff because I didn't want to do that on stream because that sounds boring. Um, but I couldn't because I need to progress the story in order to do so, and so I couldn't do anything. So I was like, oh, so, well, I want to go check out the character creation. So I kind of did that because I hadn't done that. I just used my characters I had already made. And when I did so, these guys were all disabled. And I was like, wait a minute, I bought them. So um, that's what I figured out. But what I did do, yeah, I did make a new character because, because they look awesome. Uh, apparently on this server, you get an experience boost, so I was checking it out. But, this guy, look at him! He's awesome! He's a tiger man. And the worst part, I mean, the, one of the worst parts about this game is also like the best part where one character, literally, can be every and all classes, right? But I want to play these different looking characters, because they're cool. And the other downside is, I was looking up, like, stuff in their, uh, cloud. It changed the input settings again. Um, one of the other downsides is I was looking at their shops and stuff, and the, the problem is a lot of the items are you buy per character, and that sounds super lame. There. Audio is now in the right place. And that sounds really crappy. I mean, most or a lot are, you know, account-wide, so every character you make, you get it. Many of them are, you buy it for a character, and it's only on that character, and that's a bummer. But, we're gonna be playing some more. I don't like that the webcam still has laggy problems. Let me check one setting. It's like whenever I toggle away from full screen item now, that it's just all of a sudden like, <laughs> for two seconds, and it's quite obnoxious. Yeah, it's it's fine. Like there there shouldn't be a problem here. Whatever. Um, let's see. Um, so I did, I logged into Riora. That was my character that I made when the game first came out, just to check it out. And I do have the fat Chocobo mount, and I love him. He makes me happy. He even has his own dumpy music, and it makes me even happier. It's like a straight in injection of serotonin into the brain. But, um, I was, I was gonna play some, uh, either Spirit Fair or Coffee Talk today. And, uh, Melody started streaming. And she started playing this, too. So many people are playing this all of a sudden. And I was like, well, crap, now I want to play this. <laughs> so, that's what we're doing. We're playing this. Um, also, I should make a mental note that I need to log in before stream. So I'm actually in the world, because I forget. I'm sliding. Can you see me? I don't know why. Like, there's there's something weird that makes me slide. Hello, Ben. It's a space! How's it going, space? Welcome to the stream. Look at this person's hair. This person's hair is amazing. Oh, that's so cool. I got the magic stick. Oh, I'm approaching a completion thing recommendations okay whatever um i'm gonna go click this okay so what i did do is i wanted to try to look at the professions and in doing so the only thing i did do is i went to the new te sit city ulda i think it is but i haven't done anything here as you can see i just took the zeppelin the zeppelin's right there and i got through here and i need to talk to this dude welcome to ulda madam we've been expecting you Flame General Robin. Robin? Robon. 
<laughs> Rao Bog will receive you in the fragrant chamber. The fragrant chamber? That sounds like a red district kind of thing. Please take it. Take the lift to the hustling strips. With the hustling strip? Yeah. Go to the hustling strips. Find the fragrant chamber. That, yeah, that is. Mm. And speak with Bartholomew of the Royal Promenade. Okay. I guess we're doing that. No, I don't want to open the load zone. Is there a way to turn that off? It has to be every time. Where am I going? This way? Look at her little tiny little airship. Yeah, we're going to the hustling... Husting. Oh, not hustling. Husting strip. Also, Birch, I got my, my... My sneak in the mail today. That person's name is Booba. And I got this new cup. It's a pretty purple one. Isn't that cool? Also, I, I, uh, I can't stop buying the stupid starter packs because I like their cups. But um, I decided to try the bubble gum one more time because that part of me is like, you know what? I really like our other flavors. This one just feels off. Maybe like because I had recently cleaned the cup. It's like maybe there was still some soap left over. <laughs> because I, I think the bubble gum tasted like soap. It was weird. So, I decided to give it benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to try again. I want to be an alchemist. No. Look at this guy's hair. Holy crap. What race are you? Because I want to be you. Oh, you're the... Oh, you're the dragon people. Well, now I want to make a dragon people. He's cool looking. Draco Storm Blessed. That person is cool. Man, there's a lot of cool stuff in this game. Hello, everyone. I need to talk to this person. Look at the little tiny person. Naneko Cloudburst. Frizzdag Fizzlepimp. There are complete opposite sides of names in this game. I'm trying to talk to this person. No, not my pig. The Gridanian Envoy, I presume? Would you be so good as to follow? Allow me to inspect the missive you bear, madam. My thanks. Hey, girl. Ah, oh, yes. The seal of the Elder Seeds here. Please proceed. Thank you. That guy's huge. Ah, a guest from Gridania. I thought I smelled leaf mold. Why you gotta be a dick? Also, I need to. I won't hold it against you. I need to change the music. It's very overpowering. It is a wonder you don't reek of dead Ixal. Welcome to the Sultanate of Ulda. I am Rauban al Dib, General of the Immortal Flames. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. I like his nose. He's got a very strong nose. Cartanao, I I remember bloody Cartanao. Do you know what happened that day, adventurer? When we took to the field against the Garleans? I um I kinda saw it happen in a flashback. So my counterparts have educated you. Yeah, definitely not a flashback. Hmm, oh. Trust Merlib. Wow. Merlwib. That's it. Trust Merlwib to make a light of our wolf problem. Women always did have a black sense of humor. Wolves are bloodthirsty beasts upon which one cannot turn one's back. It's only a matter of time before they bite. Wolves are awesome. So it was the Garleans 50 years ago. No sooner had they learned how to use Magitek than they began seizing territory from our neighbors. Led by the goddess Solasol's Gulfus. Wow, that's a mouthful. They swiftly brought the other nations of Is Ilsabard to heal. And so the Legatus became an emperor and his republic an empire. An empire which has set its sight upon Eorzea. But the conquering emperor is now an old man of four score winters. His health is failing and he has no clear successor. Like as not, this is why the Gurleans have been quite a, quite as of late. But the 14th Imperial Legion is still entrenched within our borders. And their commander, Legatus Gallus van Balsar, Balsar, has long harbored ambitious of conquest. Ambitions of conquest. Is Jada sleeping already? Holy crap, we've only been down here for 10 minutes. I wish I could sleep like that. We're here to strike now. 
Oh, were he to strike now, I fear we would fail like so many others before us. And not only Ulda, but Gudania and Limsa Lim Lominosa as well. Yep, she's sleeping. But the calamity brought the lot of us to our knees, and we've yet to get up. We barely have the strength to stand against the beast tribes, never mind the primals they mean to summon. We are a realm divided at Adventurer, an alliance in name only. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. The Garlean stir, and the animal will not let it go unnoticed. All other concerns pale in comparison to the Empire, even the beast tribes and their bloody primals. We must stand united once more, that much is clear. And if we are to do so, we must remember the cause which brought us together. Can E will, or Can E will have her memorial. We will honor the memory of the fallen. We will remind the people what their brothers and sisters fought and died for. Neat. How heavy is that shoulder? Nice Harry Potter glasses. Shall I inform the Sultana and the Sticket? I will speak with her grace myself. Very good, sir. The Elder Seeds here will ha have my reply in on. My thanks to you, adventurer. No problem, dude. Sorry, I'm measuring. I'm thinking about moving the mic. Because I'm, I'm getting that feedback sound and tramming nuts. Oh, that's how I get the airship. Okay. You may now use the airship routes contacting the three nations. Before you may board an airship, you must pay the... Oh. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Neat. Stube Itchy. And they're in the guild called Lude. Oh, look at the little baby flying dragon. Ah, oh, my lady envoy. I trust your stay in the Sultanate has been pleasant. Now, if you do not mind my asking, do you perchance have plans to visit Limsa Lominsa in the near future? If so, I have information that may have be in interest to you. I was just there. I once accompanied the Flame General on an official visit to the seaside city-state, which, during which time I became acquainted with Baderon, the proprietor of the Drowning Winch. Well, the man sent word just now that he has a job for a capable adventurer. I can think of none better, none with better credentials than you. Adaron would doubtless be pleased where you were to offer me your services. I guess we're going back? Or... Whoa! Okay, it's always the dragon people. Look at his eyes! Okay, I want to make a dragon person. Okay, I kind of want to check out the city. So let's go over here. That person, their name was Idris Elba. Was that a reference to the actor? Okay, what do we got down here? Gladiator. Cool. Goldsmith. Miner. Weaver. Oh! Let's go, um... Let's go be a weaver. Oh, I gotta go this way. Oh, I need to be touching... I need to touch the crystals. Oh, there's one right here. Touch the crystals. You have a tiny dragon lady! <gasps> Did you get one? Is that who you made? Virtue, if you're playing right now, you can, you can come play with me if you want. I want that wolf pup. Run! You're level 11? Nice. I am 19. It does say that you should continue leveling your core class, but I have so many friends that are playing. I'm like, screw that. I'll start new classes if I want. Aggressive bunny. Sure, I want to be a weaver. What is that going to do for me? Do I talk to you? Greetings, adventurer, and welcome to the wellspring of Uldar Fashion. I'm a humble thread. Our peerless artisans weave wonders, dreams, and fabric form. We are renowned as Azoria's finest purveyors of quality textiles and as her foremost arbiters of style. Needless to say, such renown has not won, was not won without effort. Ours is a tremendously demanding profession, you see, but also a highly rewarding one. It is little wonder that so many adventurers have set their hearts upon joining us. Might you be one of them? Sure. Ah, I thought as much. And I'm sure you're eager to learn all about our illustrious history. Not really. As I'm sure you know, Adelan can be a perilous place. It's fast as it's being... It's fast as it's being won't want to punish... Uh, I see won't, won't, but it's want. To punish the unprepared. While a menagerie of ferocious beasts stalk the sands, the greatest foe is, of course, the midday sun. 
And so, ever since man first set foot in this region, he has favored light. He has favored light flowing fabrics that shield him from sun's rays, while allowing his skin to breathe. What's up, Guffs? Of course, Uldans have ever been a people of taste and demand for more extravagant design spurred innovation, resulting in textile goods whose appeal extended far beyond our borders. Merchants had little trouble selling Uldan fabrics in foreign markets, so great was the reputation for beauty and quality. When traders from the same markets sought to peddle their lesso products in Thanaland, well, it gave us a little cause for concern. Sun silk tapestries is synonymous with the textile trade in Ulda. You see, those who come here hoping to peddle cheap rags swiftly learn the price of doing business in our territory. Wiser men and women with an interest in our trade choose instead to join this guild, which the company generously operates for the betterment of Ulda and society. We offer our members the tools and techniques needed to become successful, and should they prove themselves especially skilled, they may even be offered direct employment as sunsilk sun weavers. Whoa. Just imagine adventure. Your designs could one day dictate the course of old on fashion. If you de desire such fame and influence, then you might be granted a place with us, provided that you are willing to embrace hard work. To ensure candidates must can endure the rigors of our profession, our guildmaster has taken it upon himself to evaluate each one personally. When you're ready to submit yourself to this rigorous scrutiny, say the word. Right now? Are you ready to meet the guildmaster? First impressions are everything. And you do not want to present yourself poorly. Sure. Excellent. Though I do wonder if your attire is appropriate for the occasion. At least I'm wearing something this time. I did a whole fucking envoy ceremony in my underwear. So don't judge me. You will find the esteemed redolent rose supervising guild operations over yonder. He is, how shall I put this? He is relentless in his pursuit of excellence. So long as you demonstrate that you are similarly committed, he will treat you fairly and with respect. Neat. I like reading people's names. Oh, he's up here. Hello. <laughs> Just, guy's floating here. Using his toes. Look at this guy's hat. What do we have here? Another adventure in search of thrills and excitement? Shall I dance you a merry jig? No. Well, if this fails to please you, I suggest you run along. Perhaps the women of the Ruby Road Exchange will be more to your liking. Oh, so you mean to become a weaver? Then we have something to discuss after all. Look at the dick. I shall be blunt. Weaving is not. And I like all true, and like all true artists, we must make sacrifices and suffer for our crafts. So tell me, adventurer, are you prepared to suffer? I guess. So you say, but only time will tell. In any case, you'll need equipment to get started. This needle should suffice for now. Look at the little boy. He's drooling. He's, he's one of the big versions. He's the baby version of the big version. <laughs> Logic. I need not explain what a needle is, I trust. This guy's a dick. Good. Then hold it as you would when sewing and show me you're ready to begin. All right. Changing classes. Your main weapon determines your current class. Changing classes is as easy as equipping a different type of weapon or tool in your main hand. Oh, a needle. Okay, so how do I save? How do I save my, um... My, my character setups. There's a way to do that, right? Recommended gear. Wait, do I not have that equipped? Oh, I didn't equip it. Oh, cool. You can get recommended gear. This is dope. Brand new robe. Why does it want me to do that? Is it because I can wear a hat? Also, why does it want me to do this? Six and 21. Oh, well, that's way better. Whoa. No, I don't want to wear that hat. That hat sucks. Or it doesn't help me. Wait, maybe it's... It's better. No, this isn't better. Its defenses are good. Strength and mind. Equip. So maybe these aren't always the best. Let's see. 6 and 13. It's the same. Why does it want me to wear that? It's fine. Okay. So I'm guessing gear set list. Equip. Here you go. Here you go. Sick. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Okay. And then, so then I equip this. I'm naked. Oh, it just auto changed it. Okay. So I should be, I'm guessing Weaver doesn't show up here because I haven't put a thing in it yet. There you go. Go ahead and equip these. 
Gear set list. Equip set. Oh shit. Okay. And then we say we need a new one. Yeah, it's so fucking cool. I don't know what those symbols are. Are those quality symbols, maybe? I look really goofy right now. Okay. So loud. Journal. I need to turn some of these in. Timers. Didn't it say that I unlocked something? Excuse me. Like a, a jobs in the crafting log. Here you go. Okay, so how do I make things? I need 100 lightning shard and some grass. How do I do this? At 100% efficiency, progress increased by 7. At 100% increased quality increased by 34. Unable to craft. Well, where do I get these things? What is this? Oh. Huh. How does this work? I'm not quite sure how this works. Is it because I don't have any of this stuff? Well, how do I get this stuff? Oh, maybe maybe I gotta talk to him again. Would like to sign your first task. Okay, that, that would help. Well, well, you look like you were born to hold one of those. Even so, because I have opposable thumbs, even so, I suggest you keep it somewhere safe, especially when clambering over haystacks, as I shan't be issuing you another. What a t so stingy. It's a fucking needle. Now, you certainly look the part, but it remains to be seen if you can play it. I bid you craft me a spindle of hemp and yarn. <laughs> a spindle of hemp and yarn. A trifling task, yes. Well, I do hope you find it so. Should it seem even remotely testing, you have no future at this guild. What a douche. I don't like this guy. To make hemp and yard, you will require... Come on, dude. Sometimes taking this off is a pain in the ass. You will require moko grass and lightning shards. I, the former... Or... The former can be purchased from our own gear... Gigama. The latter you will f have to find for yourself. Uh, okay. So, I have some lightning shards. So, I think I should be okay. I love the little goober guy. There we go. That is all. Okay. How are we doing this? I synthesize this or to synthesize the spindle of hemp and yarn from for your brilliant rose, select logs from the main menu, followed by crafting log. Yes. Which contains the recipes for every item. Yes, I figured that out. Logs, crafting log. Okay, hemp and yarn. Okay, so I need to buy this moco grass. This from this person. Hello. Hi friend. A myriad of items can be bought if you happen to have a second thought about a sale. Always oh, buy back, yeah, okay. Um, I don't know, let's buy 10 of those. And then, log, I'm making a thing. Look at me go. Whoa, crafting is similar to battle in that various actions are used to proceed. Oh, there, is it like a mini game? Successfully crafting an item entails executing synthesis, actions to achieve 100% progress before material durability reaches zero. Durability reaches zero before progress has reached 100%. The synthesis will fail and some of the materials may be lost. That sucks. Items that you have successfully crafted at least once will appear in the check mark on their icons. Crafting an item for the first time will earn you a special experience point bonus. Oh. Okay, so make everything. Once, at least. Calculations. Oh. I don't know what that is. How do I start? Oh. Sick. All right, I don't care about the play guide. Get out of here. Probably shouldn't care about these either. Because I'm I'm crafting, but it's fine. Um, okay, so I gotta click this. Oh, neat! Well, this is kind of cool. And I leveled up. I'm level twenty. No, I'm not. I'm a weaver level two. All right, this is way funner. Way funner. Way more fun. Gigama can provide the mogul grass, but you must produce procure the lightning charge. Or you made the yarn already. Yes, I made it. Um. Here you go. Yeah. Well, bless my soul. She can follow basic instructions. Man, this guy's a dick. He, look at his little, he's got a little cross stitch pattern of a cat tar. It would seem you have grasped the fundamentals, good girl. Or, good girl. Yarn and cloth may be mere materials, but they must be grabbed with no less care than the whole garment. For though the finest garments are greater than the sum of their parts, their parts are invariably the finest. You remember this, Faith, as you continue your training. Practice makes yarn and other simple items in return once you have... Er, practice making yarn and other simple items in return once you have attained a basic level of proficiency. Tedious, I grant you, but necessary, and you did tell me you were ready to suffer. Is this guy BDSM dude calling me good girl and 
Sounds like he's getting his rocks off about suffering. The next weaver's quest will be available from Rose upon reaching level 5. Oh, that's easy. I'm level 2. As long as I have materials, I guess. Uh, I lied. I'm level 3. Sick. Okay. Look at the boy! Oh! Alright. Your, your kitty and my piggy will be best friends. Okay, so let's make one of all these things. Oh, I need another hemp and yarn. Okay, synthesize. Here you go. Nice. Oh, I need two. Do I not have two? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's durability. Okay. So it goes down even if I do it successfully. Dude, I'm just finishing one thing and leveling up like a boss. How do I know... Inque... I don't know what these sound for. Ooh. Come on, baby. Yes. Nice. Are those better than what I'm wearing? No. Let's make some underpants. Uh, can I execute? Okay. So I need one of these and a cloth. Oh, that gets better. Sick. This is actually kind of fun. Normally I hate crafting stuff. We level five, bruh. Oh, crap. All right, I need some of this. Oh, man. I could do this all day. I, I am a crafter main now. Oh, I got a thing. Basic touch. Wait, hold on. What are these? Increases progress. Yeah, yeah. Increases quality. Okay. Oh, that's probably what he's going to teach me about is I got this new skill. Back so soon. Very well. Let's resume your training. Since last we spoke, you will doubtless have spent your time making the basic products of our trade, namely yarn and cloth. Now, now I would have you take such a basic products and craft whole garments from them. Make three parts of hemp and breeches and present them for my inspection. You'll be working with hemp and cloth and yarn this time, as well as a little bit of leather. Yagima can furnish you with materials to help you get started. Ah, but eager as I am to see the fruits of your labor, it would be remiss of me not to mention that there were more economical methods of procuring what you may need. For example, the moko grass from which you have been doodly making yarn can be freely gathered out in the woods. Fuck! That said, one can simply rip out the ground with one's hand. A scythe is needed as well, as a working knowledge of botany. Fuck! Okay. Okay, I need to go gather classes. Oh, God. Have you, perchance, made the acquaintance of a botanist or two? If not, I, hi I heartily recommend that you do. They are attractive, attractively earthy without seeming dirty and useful. Besides, Having said all that, I will not accept a newfound passion for botany and its practitioners as an excuse for the late delivery of their breaches. So don't keep me waiting. Okay, so I need to go become a botanist, too. Um, he wants three hempen breaches. Okay, where are those? Hempen breaches. I want hempen breaches of crafting. I'm gonna make one of those. Can I mark these somehow? I need two... Hemp and cloth, hemp and yard, and leather. Oh, I need to get some leather. Okay, so I need to buy four leather. Okay, okay, we're learning. I should check my inventory. I got a bunch of shiny stuff here. Huh. Right. I need to do four hemp and cloth and eight undyed hemp and cloth. Okay, I need four of these. Can I say make four? How do I say make four? Improving item quality. Increasing items quality during synthesis improves the chances that the resulting product will be of higher grade. Quality is normally improved by using touch actions. However, in addition to reducing material durability, these actions can also require crafting points to execute. The higher the overall quality of the completed item, the higher the experience point reward will be. Okay. There's got to be a way, right? What's up, Rooster? Sweet hat? Yeah, I think that's um, from um, from when I pre-ordered it back in the day. It's It increases my experience up to level 10. <laughs> but apparently, since I'm a weaver, I don't have a hat particularly for it, so I'm wearing it. How you doing, man? I don't know why, but I just find myself changing or adding stuff to my channel. I just change all my sub- Dude, I feel that, Gups. Like, I, I like coming up with new ideas and stuff for the channel. Keeps things fresh. Hey, Rooster, do you know how to make multiple things at once? Oh, shit. I didn't need to be making that many because it makes two at once. What if I do this? I don't think it's worth it doing that yet. Dun-dun-dun! I need eight of these, right? I like watching me make things. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of stuff I need. Whoa! Oh, it's a wind-up Sid. I thought that was a, a player real quick for a second. I was like, what the fuck? How are you so small? 
how's the crafting it's it's wait it's definitely the most fun version of crafting i've had in a freaking morgue but i don't oh but i don't know how to make multiple at once i wish i could do that that might come later maybe also apparently i had a bunch of that fucking yarn wait i can't do this there it goes pushing one and it wasn't working there it goes because i so i'm i must have picked up a bunch of these outside because i only bought 10 and i have 30 and i've been using them okay so let's build another hempen of gathering oh sick i should make these okay i can make this so i'm gonna make it let's see if i can make this good oh so I've, i have an eight percent chance for it to be good quality ah oh, just it's just normal unable to execute wait oh i'm not crafting though quit sick i'm wearing some pants is there any more crafting stuff Okay, so there's work glove. What's this do? Gathering. Okay, so we'll we'll do that in a minute. But he wants these guys. Oh, I need two. God damn it. So, so if my crafting has gone up, has it not? I thought my crafting would have gone up. Cause I'm wearing those, right? Oh, my control went up. So maybe that decreases the chance. Recipe tree. Item comparison. Try on. Link. Add to favorites. Interesting. Okay. Oh, my durability went up. Is that my control? Maybe. Okay, so I have one of those. Master's Mend. Restores item durability by 30. Oh, neat. Oh, so I, so I should I should have waited to make the pants I'm wearing. It's fine. You can make... Yeah, how do you make more at once? I can't figure it out. And it's driving me nuts. I think they walk you through it later. Okay. So, yeah, maybe that's something... You unlock later. So this one starts with lower durability. So I guess my control idea was not quite right. Okay, so I need just two more of those guys. This is cool. It's like a mini game. I should be I'm a fucking idiot. I should be wearing these. Oh, I didn't fucking make the last thing. God damn it. I just didn't. Fuck. I just remade the thing I already had. God damn it. Now I gotta do all this all over again. It's fine. It's experience. I'm wasting all my lightning things. And now I need to go buy another piece of leather because I accidentally wasted it. Fuck. No, just one. I'm too poor. Logs. This. This. Oh damn it. I need more of this. There we go. Sick. Hey dude. Kettle the fish. I take it the bridge is already. I do. There you go. Here's a bunch of pants. Not bad face, not bad at all. The style of blue wear has never been particularly fashionable, nor has it des design changed significantly over the years. Fluctuating lengths aside, but I digress. I wondered if you might try for a variation of the conventional design, but I see you opted for orthodoxy. For orthodoxy. Is that how you pronounce it? Orthodoxy? Orthodoxy? I don't know. Wise decision in this case. If you would have made like a higher quality version, was that what he would what he would have changed that phrase? Hemp and clothing is inexpensive and durable, making it popular amongst farmers, miners, and others who work the land. Such customers value comfort and mobility over all else. They may appreciate more elegant forms, but they will not sacrifice function for them. Each garment has a purpose, Faith. A purpose that you should always bear in mind. A scalloped hem is about as useful to a miner as nipples on a gladiator's breast breastplate. Hey, you know what? Some people might go for that. Now then, having completed your latest task, I believe you have earned this spinning wheel. Spinning wheel. Use it in combination with your needle, and your work will benefit from it. Saying that, it will of course take you a little while to become accustomed to using the tools together. You need not worry though. I fully intend to give you ample opportunity to acquire the knack. In fact, I won't be teaching you anything else until you have. By the time that spinning wheel feels like it belongs in your hand, I dare say that you thought of a new task for you. Until then, my girl. Certain gear grants bonuses to your craftsmanship. Yeah, figured that out. A higher craftsmanship rating hastens the progress of synthetic or synthesis. Greater control increases the chance of creating higher quality items. Ah, an additional CP improves your crafting stamina. Now, fitting yourself with an with an eye to your current objective will increase the efficiency of your crafting endeavors. Neat. I should probably wear this hat. I don't know what perception does, so we're gonna find out. Leveling up like a boss. Okay, so let's go to my armory chest. 
Oh, not that. I lied. Go here. Gear set. Yeah, look at my hat. I look like an awesome boss. This is great. All right, save. Reassign gear. How do I save it? Or is it just auto saved? I guess we'll find out. Fuck. Okay. Update, update gear set. Got it. Okay. So that should work, right? Yes. Sick. Okay. Let's, let's, um, we're going to build some more stuff. Cat. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is, this is now taking my, uh, my full attention here. I want to make multiple. There's gotta be a way. I mean, Birch said there is, but maybe I, just, I need to be a certain level. Oh, I do it in one tap now. Hell yeah, bruh. Okay, I made a bunch of those. I wish I could create stuff like, hey, make this, but make all the things underneath it for me. Or at least bring it up on like my HUD somewhere so I could be like, all right, here's the materials I need. You know, let's make some pantalets. Let's make a coif. Oh, I wanted to see what perception does. Where's perception? Craftsmanship, attack power. Where's perception? I don't know. I don't know where perception comes into play here. I fucking need leather. All right, maybe I'll, I'll buy a bunch of leather. Look at the little boy. He's got a matching helmet. We have a follow. That was a mamas. Neo. Hey, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Thank you so much for the follow, or for the raid. I appreciate you. And you, what's up, you bruh? I know you, bruh. How you guys doing? What were you playing? I appreciate you popping in. Is this, is this all your fault, you bruh? Is this all your fault? Do we have to blame you? Any, um, I should say. Sorry, I just started streaming again, so I'm just getting back into things. Um, but I'm Vasive. I'm a variety gamer here. Um, I just picked up Final Fantasy 14 started playing this this weekend and having a blast and now we're learning crafting professions um i'm a variety gamer uh generally i just play a bunch of games and i'll like finish them and go on to the next one we do votes and stuff in the discord um but the, the little the black and white being that you see over there that's jada she's the real star of the show we did have uh we do have another member of the show. Unfortunately, she has recently crossed over the Rainbow, Rainbow Bridge uh, a couple weeks back. Uh, that was Mama's, but that's what the other emote is for. But, thank you guys so much for popping in. I appreciate it. Hey, Caught Wild, thank you so much for the follow. Jaden, want a cookie? A cookie? Oh, cookie for you. Eh. Eh. I'm cooking for you. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the puppet pile. Yes, doggo cam. It's the most important part. <laughs> Oh, came over with Neil. Been here a minute. Nice. <laughs> butt, 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 pat. <gasps> butt pat time. We're gonna do some butt pat times. Yeah, dude. Oh man, it was. It's been a rough couple weeks. I took some time off, but you were playing some Final Fantasy 13. Ooh, I've never played that one. Hold on a minute. Wait, the the important thing is here. Also, looks like the um the doggo cam is slightly blown out. Let me fix that right quick. All right, but we got butt pats. It's the most important thing. Enjoy the bump time. Hi, hi, hi. You made a bed. Oh, yeah, 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 You were grinding all stream. Hey, that, that's one thing I found is if you're doing some any sort of grinding, it's so much less tedious if you're like sh streaming and you're hanging out with people. So I, I understand that completely. And I guess kind of you can consider what I'm doing grinding, but I have never done this before. And the freaking crafting system in this game is so much fun. It's like a mini game. So I'm kind of been doing this since I started stream. <laughs> 13 is good. You're going to finish 13? Gotcha. This is the base of experience? Yeah, we, it's all about the doggies. <laughs> Grinding and chat a philosophical... Ooh! I like philosophical discussions. Did I know Kitty Cat got back into streaming? I did! I saw she popped into stream... Last week? 
for one stream. It was nice to see her back. Um, I was actually lurking in that stream. Um, let's see. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm making things. I need to make this hat, which isn't going to give me any bonuses. It just gives me level up. Yeah, first try. Okay, can I make an undershirt? What is this going to do to me? Nothing. But I need more of these, which is, dang it, it's eating all my stuff. Cat was just hungry each other. And he was struggling to do a command for the last bit of a stream. <laughs> okay. I understand that. Just, just streamer things, man. So I think I'm going to blow through all my materials and then we'll go figure out some other stuff because I'm almost out. I only have six more of those. So I will probably not get as far as I wanted to, but it's fine. I don't have to require materials. What are you talking about? Oh, I need two of those. You know what? I'm just going to make all these. Dude, yeah, head to bed, get some sleep. Appreciate the raid. I hope you sleep well. Hope to see you again soon. Dream of Sumi, is that a character in uh, Final Fantasy 13? Cookie time! It's cookie for you. <laughs> cookie for you. <laughs> Have a good one, Kot. Thank you so for the follow. I hope you sleep well as well. We'll see you next time. What am I working on? Oh. What do you mean I don't have the required materials? I need... Whoa. Oh, I need two of those. I was I was flipping the numbers in my brain. See you as Neo's waifu. Not in third, Final Fantasy 13, though. Oh, okay. So, do not know who that character is. Here we go. How come... Wait. I thought I got, like, a... A spinner thing. Why am I not using it? Boop is nerd! You good boobies. What was I doing? I forgot. Okay, I need some more of these. Well, that says I had five. Did it not? Did I misread that? Oh, I need two. Oh no, I'm almost out of stuff. Yeah, we leveled up. Hasty touch. Rapid synthesis. Oh, I got two things at once. Increases quality and requires... No CP. Well, that has a 60% success rate. Increases progress. 50% success rate. Interesting. Huh. I want that. I need one undyed hempen cloth and one hempen yarn. Damn it. Well, I want that. So I gotta buy some things. Hold on. Also, yeah, see, I ha Oh, it's an offhand. Okay, that makes a little more sense, I guess. Also, that sound like, sounds like a bowl. You gotta play 14 again? Still got your free trial to go- Dude, if you're- if you got a free trial, there's like seven people that are joining on this server, so you're welcome to play with us. What am I crafting? Uh, I'm just going through my crafting, um, log right now for the experience. Okay, I need another hemp and yarn. What server are you on? So, we're on the Primal Data Center, and I'm on Ultros right now. But, there's like three- Two or three servers on the Primal Data Center that are giving bonus experience if you create a character on it. So, in hindsight, it would probably be smart to make one there because you can play together uh, if you're in the same server group. Oh, almost. What does this do? Craftsmanship 18. Fuck, I should have made that. Let's update my... Not that. Why is that all of a sudden? Okay. Neat. Okay, well, I did... What we did here. Can't talk to him yet. I kind of want to talk to you guys. Do you have Vox Populi? Something in a cream or whatever shall I do? The dressing just can't seem to finish it. Oh, the design is flawless! Absolutely flawless. Of that I have no doubt, but I simply cannot settle on a color for the life of me. How would you like to conduct a mix of field research for me? I'm dying to know which color of the ladies of Uldah are wearing these days. Especially in the hustling strip. Now when you're finished, please call on Luca. Luku. At the Alchemist Guild, the woman is a wizard with dyes. Have her cook up whatever color you find is most popular. If it is work you seek, the Weaver's Guild welcomes you. Indeed, your timing is impeccable. A soiree is, a, is to be held with all of Uldor's elite in attendance. Once the invites were doubted, the orders came in and with that, with a fury. Every lord and lady from Cape Dread Deadwind to the Cinderport is demanding the latest fineries. I need hands, and I need them now, yet I cannot spare the time to go to go off in search of them. Would you care to aid us, friend? Ask no more than you welcome to our doors, any willing souls you might find. Come, let us see you first. Show me a warmest welcome. Okay. 
Yay. Clap, clap. Excellent. I dare say I would work for you myself. Now hurry up. We need those people. Seek out any would-be weavers and give them... Like this? Can't click them. Butt pets! Butt pet time! More butt pets! Oh, run is... You guys see that Jada starts kicking because she knows? You want some more butt pets? You want more butt pets? You want them? Oh, there's a beta. Get them, get them, get them. Hi, hi, hi. Oh. Oh. Get the butt. Get the butt. Hello. We got a friend. I love you. Get them. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Everyone coming in and giving you loves. What's up, Penis? Penis says he loves you so much. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing with the angles. Right now, it's it's gnarly because you get to see... You get to see the mess that is the background. It looks like Jada might have bumped the, the cam anyways. There you go. <laughs> I guess it's not so bad when it's minimized eh. also the fact that it's all super blown out is annoying do i do it to like these people wait oh i think it worked Look at the Weaver's Guild. Hmm. I'd, be lying if, I'd be lying if I said I weren't interested. To whom I, I go to inquire further. Yes. Okay. So th they're marked. That's why these people have things above their head. The Weavers are recruiting. Finally, my chance to become a famous designer. There you go. Let's go find some more friends. Wait. You want to be the Weaver? That's awesome. Weaver work. Take a look at me, friend. I'm a bloody guard and on duty, no less. Move along now. Come on, you could be a weaver. Follow your dreams. I appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. I'm all sons when it comes to stitching and whatnot. It's fine. Tell the weavers need help, do they? Sorry, friend, I'm all up. Except for coin. Fine. Fine. Just wanted to have more friends. Have you heard that people are playing pop songs on harps? What? No. But if you have videos, please post those in the Discord. You've returned. How did... Well, how did you fare? Two potential recruiters say welcome news. I only hope their zeal for fashion will show their efforts for the guild. What do we hear? What we do here seem all silk and sad, but to be sure, the work within these walls is far from easy. And that, I suppose, I suppose, our trade is not unlike any other. Okay, well, that, I guess that was simple enough. Let's go, um... This is... This is uh, annoyingly fun. Like, this is the stuff that would suck in my stupid brain hole. Just, like, you're just gonna do this forever. Where's the botanist? Should I just go pick up all the quests? Maybe I'll pick up all the the trade skills I mean, i'm not gonna spend time doing all of them like the i will click this though um i don't think it's worthwhile oh shit did i not get the weavers one like I, I don't i don't think i'll work on the miners one but i will pick it up because it could be smart pirate person Adventurer, you stand within the miners guild, the place where seekers of the realm's mineral wealth gather. With pickaxe and sledgehammer, we miners work hardness, work brokenness, and they might yield us ores, fossils, precious stones, and more. If you have a mind to join our ranks, you will be pleased to know that we are currently recruiting. Great riches await those who strong backs and keen eyes. You can be everyone, right? You, you can be every profession. You already cancelled your whilst up, so did Josh. Might buy the actual game once I finish the main quest. Nice. Well, yeah, because it's free up to level 60. I let Yeti know, too. Because he actually owns the game. A decision you will not regret. You have just taken your first step to striking it rich. 
Don't look at the lands around Ula. One would be forgiven to think that the region barren of opportunity, but beneath the surface, the scene could not be more different. There lies veins of copper, silver, and gold beyond measure. For as long as he has dwelt in Thanaland, man has availed himself of these vast deposits giving rise to the thriving mining trade, which forms the foundation of a nation's prosperity. Of course, the mining trade is, is, is today owes much to the event which took place some century and a half ago, namely the Mad Mithril Rush. Never before had the Sultanate seen such an influx of migrants. I just gave her Scottish accent for a second. In endless throngs came from lands near and far, spurred by on by the dream of discovering the mother load. Alas, a harsh reality awaited them. You see, the vast majority of these poor souls were miners in name alone, and they possessed neither the proper equipment nor the training to realize their dreams. To make matters worse, the, mi make matters worse, the mining concerns, who in these days held above absolute power, did not scruple, scruple to exploit them. Presented with a glut of unskilled labor, they, present, they proceeded to fill every tunnel with to bursting, and atrocious working conditions soon became the norm. Miners were paid a bit for backbreaking labor and saw not the riches they unearthed. Forced to breaking point, the workers banded together to form the Miners Guild in the aim of improving conditions while protecting the integrity of the trade. Since then, we have sought to educate folk in correct mining practices, both to prevent accidents and to curb the impact that our trade has upon the environment. I trust you have a better understanding of what we do. All that is left is to commit your name to our role. When you are ready to do so, pray speak with me again. I shall glad guide you through the enrollment procedure. That's one of those bomb things. So, are you ready to join the Miners Guild? Sure. Music to my ears. Oh, the kind mean when one picks up strikes gold. You must introduce yourself to the Guildmaster Adelbert Hereditary. Her approval is required if you want to be formally admitted to our ranks. In case you're unaware, Alberta is perhaps the most accomplished of those miners who still swing a pickaxe. Her understanding of the trade is unsurpassed and her flair for prospecting uncanny. Her brain, in short, is a ver ver veritable gold mine for knowledge. Much of it's concerning the mining of gold. Aha! Jessing apart. You stand to learn a great deal from her. When you're ready, pray present yourself to Ald Alberta. You will find her down the steps yonder, over by the bar. Okay, so I have to do these, I think, just to at least... Why is there a bar in here? That sounds dangerous. Although it's mining. It's not... It's There's smelters here, right? That sounds like a bad idea. Eight Peoples is a full raid group? Wow. Well met, adventurer. All the birds is my name, and I'm the master of this guild. I take it you wish to become a miner. Well, all doors are open to all who aren't afraid to work hard and get dirty. Thanks to recent advances and refining techniques, it's now possible to smelt even low purity ores. I mentioned this because this allowed us to reopen a number of mines, but were long thought exhausted, prompting trade to flourish. Truth be told, with business as it is, at the moment we can't take on enough new miners. And few folk better mi make better miners than adventurers, you being a hardy lot. What's more, you're well traveled, which serves to expand the guild's sphere of activity. Oh, but not. I'm not suggesting you join solely for our benefit. For your part, you'll require skills that will approve to your profit. A mutually beneficial arrangement, I trust you'll agree. So what say? Will you join us, yes? And I bid you welcome to the Miner's Guild. May your toils never go unrewarded. Now then, here's a pickaxe to get you started. It's not the newest, but it should serve a novice well enough. Go on and take it up. See how it feels in your hands. Speak to me again when you're ready, and I'll sign you a little task to help you get into the swing of things. Number available gifts. Gear sets increased. Neat. Okay, so this, and this, and this, and this, equip, ooh, dang, you almost fucked up. New gear set, minor, sick. Hello. You look good with the pickaxe face. Now that you're suitably equipped, your training can commence. A miner learns her craft best in the wilderness with pickaxe in hand. To begin, let's see how you fare with a good old copper ore. Bring me, say, ten, oh, something. I, uh, misclicked. There are deposits of the stuff throughout the Thunderland. I doubt you'll have to go very far outside the city. Seek out some promising locations outside the gate of the Sultana and the gate of Nald and swing away. The motion may feel awkward at first, but in time it'll become second nature. Miners use pickaxes and other tools to extract the mineral, mineral wealth of errors and gather materials using crafting. What the? Five Nights at Freddy's bullshit. It has two tails. Locations that can be mined for resources are known as mineral deposits. 
locate mineral deposits, make your way out of the city, and then use the minor action known as prospect. Cool. Um, well, I'm not going to be in minor clothes. Holy crap, that gives me so much more life. Um, I guess we'll go get goldsmithing as well. I think I already have this one, but yep. Oh, wait, it's this. Yeah, I already have that one. Minecraft stream. <laughs> Endurance dungeons? That does not sound neat. Those fights can be like 40 minutes. That sounds awful. Good evening, Q adventurer, and welcome to the Goldsmith's Guild. Have you come to observe our artisans at work? Indeed, it is a marvel to watch Goldsmiths transform raw metal and uncut gemstones into sparkling rings, earrings, and necklaces. So much, so much which possess magical properties, no less. You know, if you'd like to try our hand at Goldsmithing, the gold Guild is open to adventurers like yourself. No prior experience is required, but we teach all you need to know about the craft. Would you be interested? That's like the shortest one. So far, yes. It pleases me greatly to hear you say so. As the first step, I would have you understand the purpose of a guild. I lied, she's gonna talk more. Vast mineral resources of Thunderland give have given rise to a grand goldsmithing tradition, which has been refined through the ages. Our techniques are renowned across the realm, our creations held in the highest regard. However, we have fish teams, lipidaries, the premier source of Udan jewelry, we're not content to the rest of our laurels. Seeking to advance our craft, we turned our eyes to the east, the only place in the known world whose goldsmithing was said to rival our own. We built the finest facilities to beckon their masters hither and blended their foreign techniques with ours. Our guild quickly became the center of the Eorzean goldsmithing. I hear you shall benefit from the refined wisdom of countless Badran craftsmen. You will learn to see the potential in your materials and shape them to your will. These are essential skills for a goldsmith. Must hone his eyes to identify. Or a goldsmith must hone his eyes to identify and praise all manner of materials, and, when he needs to be, recognize imitations for what they are. It is even said that a master goldsmith can ascertain the authenticity of a man himself. You may one day come to possess such vision, but even the most magnificent jewel begins life as a rough hewn stone. It must first be cut and polished before you can delight the eyes with its brilliance. If you would become a goldsmith, you must, you must needs refine yourself as a wood as you would a gemstone. It would take much time and effort, and there is no guarantee of success. Should you be certain that this is the life you seek, speak to me once more. I already accepted this. Before you can embark upon your journey to become a goldsmith, you must first seek an audience with a guildmaster. Are you ready to do so? You shall find Mistress Serendipity. Mistress Serendipity? Really? On the workshop floor, just down the steps. Show her your burning desire to learn, and you are certain to receive her permission to join. Okay. Hello. Stop right there, you little troublemaker. People are working here. Oh, pardon me. I had mistaken you. I had you mistaken for a moment. For a moment there, I... Uh, let's start over, shall we? What brings you here today, adventurer? You perchance have aspirations to become a goldsmith? Really? That's great. Welcome, welcome. I am Serendipity, but you can call me Sarah. That's much easier. Or is that too formal? Sorry, I'm still unaccustomed to this whole guildmaster business. Uh, right. Oh, that person just popped in. Look at that fucking bow. That's gotta be heavy as hell. What did you say your name was again? Adrian? Oh, right. Face Gainsborough. Well then, Face Gainsborough. Work hard and one day your creation may line the shelves of Istame's aesthetics. Trust in yourself and you can achieve anything. That was sufficiently inspiring, I trust. Good. Next order of business. Here's your new chaser hammer. Well, I say new, but it's actually a bit weathered. I never mind you that. Just show me that you know how to use it so we can get started. Dun, 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 dun. Equip. And then recommended gear. And equip. And then gear set. And then new. And we're good. Sick. Let's get out of here. Where are we going now? I don't know if I have this one, so I'm going to go grab it. I do have it. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate the compliment you brought, but, uh, I am by far not a good voice actor. I am, I, I find all my voices quite annoying, <laughs> but I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm out of woo juice. Okay, where am I? Samaturge, that's a, a caster. Pugilist is a caster. Wait, what? It could happen to you. What's that? 
I feel like I should go talk to that because that's a, a special mission. We yo. Oh, it's well healed youth. I said it. I thought it said it. Wheel. I thought it said wheel healed youth because we were talking about healies today in the Discord. Uh, once have has some good fortune, may it not be adverse to sharing it. Do be careful with those. Break anything, and I shall be forced to deduct it from your salary. Beg pardon? What is my loyal manservant carrying? Why, a not so small fortune and prize is ably won by yours truly in the gold saucer. Oh, <gasps> sick. You have heard of the gold saucer? Nay, it gads, woman. You might at least try to keep up with the times. It's only still set in its newest and finest place of entertainment. Thrilled to the sight of the majestic birds roaring down the straits of the chocobo races, pit your wits against the peers at the triple triad tables. At the gold saucer, one can do all this and more. And if you know what you're about, you're, you'll walk out a wealthier woman than you entered. Is there a better place to shake off one's cares after a grueling day of promenading? I've never heard of it. Did I mention the prizes? Oh, but I dare say you'd rather discover them for yourself. Yes, I'd wager you're wondering just how... In... Just how... In Thal's good name, you can experience the wonders of the Golden Saucer firsthand. Am I right or am I right? Ha! <laughs> I thought as much. Well, since this has been my lucky day, I don't see why it shouldn't be yours, too. That guy looks awesome. I just so happen to have your spare golden airship ticket. You see, consider it a gift from me to you, my lady. Oh, sick. I thought those were, like, hard to come by, and this guy's just giving them away. Just show that ticket to the fine lady over the big landing, and you'll have a seat on the next airship bound for the revelry and riches. Be fairly warned, though. You may expect no mercy from me should our paths cross at the tri triple triad tables. Nay, not so much as an ounce. <laughs> Alright. Later, bro. Okay, so there was... Oh. Okay, so I don't think there's any more... What are they called? Professions here. Mr. Kool-Aid Man. Oh, I hadn't attuned to that. That could have been bad. Okay, how do I... Where's the airship? Oops, running into a wall. I guess we'll go to the steps of Thal. Let's see what that's about. Because I don't know where the, um, the airship is. I know I gotta take an elevator. Papa Big Show. Oh, I think this is it. <laughs> I appreciate that, dude. I think I only have, like, maybe four voices, but then I just slightly modify them <laughs> so i've been here oh okay so maybe the airstrip's here what's the goblet should i go to the goblet find out what that's about what's up josh you're new here yeah <laughs> how's it going dude i'm uh, i'm picking up all the the professions that i find I, g I guess i'm gonna go to the goblet that sounds like a new area that might have stuff but how you doing man um question for you since you play this game where or how do i craft multiple things at once okay this guy won't let me down there damn it the chamber of rule H how do you craft multiple things at once like so i can say make seven of these whoa yeet doesn't hurt where are those elevators shit i can never find my way back out of these areas maybe i gotta go to the upper level Oh, I did miss one. Alchemist. Oh, I thought this guy was like holding stuff up to these like these little people be like, haha, you can't get it. Like what a dick. Okay. Um this way. Oh, I heard that grunty Jada. <laughs> oh, I heard that grunty Jada. Oh look, a mama showed up. Hi mamas. All right, maybe I should be talking to these Bobolon. There's never been a shortage of white dresses that are- Oh, this is for that quest. You know, hold on, ladies. Surely it is the most comfortable color to wear under the murderous sun. Shit, that's a lot of people I gotta talk to. Also, I'm going the wrong way. God damn it. Er, uh, yellow? What fair color is that in the name of the fairest maiden? Yellow moon. Oh, yellow moon, how my heart pines for you. Uh, yellow moon is that lady that's in the Weaver's Guild. Best color for a dress? Well, you know what they say. Once you go black, you never go back. Is that loud? <laughs> what color? Or, it's a little person. What color is a fashion? I must say. I'm just back from Gadonia, and I find that there's a certain verve to for delivery. Green, you bloody idiot. 
You're a dick. I'll, I will punt you. You got an awful big mouth for an awful little body that can just be punted across a football field. Just saying. Saint Chestnut. Look at this guy. Holy crap. Personally, I've always had a thing for a motley of red and green overlaid with stripes of purple and dark brown. Okay. I said one color. Rurumu. Red? Ever and always, this is all that, my dearest girl. With the sun beats on your back with fiery fists and the sins of the sands are hot and unforgiving and ever at once. We old uns live for our passions and our lust for life is surpassed only by our lust for lust. Alright, little person. Nice. Alright, let's go learn us some alchemy. Hello. Ah, oh, an adventurer. One of my favorite kinds of people. I find your unquenchable thirst for exploration and neatly compliments the burning hunger for sagacity that marks our dedicated members. Welcome to the Alchemist Guild. Though I hesitated to find alchemy in such a narrow terms, our main field of expertise in this the is the concoction of various potions and elixirs. There are salves to treat all manner of afflictions, not to mention miraculous libations that enhance the imbiber beyond their natural physical limits. Yeah? Enhance... Find physical limits, huh? Whoa, she looks cool, the dragon girl. Move, red thing. Oh, I can't rotate my camera over there more. She's cool. Man, the dragon people are cool. As an adventurer, I'm sure you can appreciate the eminently practical application of our work. What say you, madame? Care you take up mortar and pestle and join our ranks? Wonderful. Now then, allow me to give you a brief history of the guild before we tackle the official paperwork. Though the alchemists are presently known as quintessential brewers of potions, the profession itself arose from the desire to achieve as an as-yet unrealized ambition. The original driving purpose behind our art was, and perhaps still is, the discovery of a process that can transform base materials into gold or silver. Transmutation and the mythical medium thought necessary to effect such a transformation is the Philosopher's Stone, called it. Which it is itself, which is itself believed to have Panacean properties and be capable of bestowing eternal life. Though success yet eludes us, years of endless experimentation towards this golden goal have initially unintentional consequence of, consequence of unearthing wealth of knowledge in the field of alchemical medicine. Regretfully, alchemy's potential to enrich the lives of the masses was first met with a wave of distrust, as if our, our ability to create helpful components or compounds was akin to dabbing dabbling in back alley witchcraft. The profession eventually gained credibility in Ulda through its integration into traditional medicine by Frondel's Frontinstory, an institutional known for producing respected physicians. Once the city shift and perception became known, budding alchemists wishing to study without fear of persecution journeyed to Ulda from every corner of the realm. It was not long before this gathering of inquisitive minds banded together to form the Al Alchemist Guild. Thus, while our organization is intensely focused on perfecting and sharing the fruits of our research, it's also of paramount importance that we upheld the reputation of alchemy itself as a legitimate discipline. If you would level, revel in the secrets of our art, then you must be prepared to sh shoulder the responsibility I've described. Take a moment to dwell on these words before you truly enter the world of alchemy. I'm gonna do it. Let me in. Have you arrived at a decision? Are you ready to, to exult in the arts of alchemy and commit to the responsibility? Responsibilities that your enrollment entails? Yep. Excellent. Then allow me to direct you to our guildmaster. Gaining his approval is the last test you must pass before becoming a full member of the guild. You will find guildmaster Severian tending to experiments at his personal workbench. I must warn you, he is, rather, he is a rather intense individual. Pray choose your words with care. Uh, not you. You. Hello. Dude, personal space. All up in my grill here. What? What is this? What is it this time? You must have them. Merchant's lackey come to bring me my imp wings. Let's have them, them. Hmm, not a lackey. An aspiring alchemist, you say? Speak up and pray that I heard. And pray that I heard you awry. Did that babbling fool Dietrich send you to me? I specifically requested that I be disturbed for nothing less than the coming of the second calamity. Do I appear a kindly mentor to you? My research demands my absolute and undivided attention. Now be gone, before I am forced to... 
But wait. Hmm. Perhaps I can. Yes, yes, you might be my the very assistant I require. I've had a change of heart. Congratulations. I approve your application to this guild. It is with great pleasure that I welcome a fellow seeker of knowledge into the fold. You can dispense with the interminable initiation ceremony, yes? Here's your first alembic. Plan is to drop it. Well, this is much work to be done. Yes, much work. All right. That guy's something else. Equip. Equip. Oh, that helmet does make sense because I'm technically level one with my professions. Dope. Sweet. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Find your way back out. Okay, that's not a door. I really want to go check out the character character customization for the the dragon people. They're cool. I don't I don't know how to get out of here. Isn't there a symbol for fucking burial chamber? Where the fuck? How do I find? How do I find the um the flight master person? Oh, I didn't finish this. I didn't finish my Vox Populi. Steps of Thal. Oh shit. Okay, I need to go to the Weaver's Guild. Hold on. I need to finish this. Hello. The most popular color of late? Well, all colors have their merits, of course, but at first, I'd have to say red. Okay, I think red so far is the winning one. Why any color is perfectly fine for dress your silly thing, so long as it comes off easily at the end of the night. Alright, fuck it. Why are the little people all little perverts? Wait, where do I turn that in? Present the golden airship ticket to airship landing. Where is this? It's in the middle. I've been there. But it's not here. The fuck? Okay, where's the fucking elevator people? Is 100% 10% okay to hate on Lollafels? Dude, they're gnomes of the Final Fantasy realm. I absolutely hate them. I can't fucking talk to you? God damn it. Here you go. Here you go. There we go. Fucking finally. Jeez, why isn't this marked on the map? People who play are, are memesters. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, same thing as gnomes. The people that play gnomes are probably the people, same people that play Lollafell. So. This is the reception disc for the flights bound for the Vanderbilt Gold Saucer. Before proceeding, I ask that you submit your ticket for inspection. <laughs> you do have a ticket, yes? Yeah, but I don't want to go to the Golden Saucer yet. I want to do that later. Come to join us for the front line, or perhaps you have questions to ask. Whoa! What the fuck? Is this PvP? That kind of looks like PvP. What's wrong with Lollafells? They're annoying little bastards. And they're all pompous. But my, my, my intense hatred comes because gnomes I hated in WoW because they're all dickbags. So it probably transfers. No, I want to go somewhere else. Uh, apparently I have to go to Gold Saucer. It appears that everything is in order and the airship will be departing shortly before the next bill. Shall I reserve a seat for you? I don't want to go to the Gold Saucer. Fuck. Uh, fine. That's annoying. Whoa. It didn't show me. I didn't have to board it or anything this time. Uh, excuse me. It's Cactuar. I like that it's in the middle of a desert. Still. Yeah, it's the gold saucer music. Let's go see a chocobo race. <gasps> Can I be a chocobo race? If you're ever looking for me in game 9% of the time, I'm lingering the gold saucer. Really? They put a game in your game so you could game while you game. It's Wacker Cactar. You can be a chocobo racer. Nice. And you get to breed them swap traits? Okay, that's cool. What's up, Crimson? Welcome to the stream. Oh, you're playing triple triad? I like everything about me except for my hat. And it's actual racing? Really? That's cool. Yeah, I know I can hide my hat, but some hats are cool. I got money from just coming here. Welcome to the Mandeville Gold Saucer, where your dreams can come true. That is, all the dreams that can come true if you have enough Mandeville Gold Saucer points. They all can be exchanged for, yeah. Okay, it's very similar. Does the rate change, Josh? 
because it says the current rate is 10 guild for one MGP. Golden law prevents the gold tells you from exchanging MG MGP if the patron has already possessed more than 500. Oh, you can have a limit. MGP cannot be converted back into guild, but the points can be used to purchase an assortment of wonderful prizes from the prize claim attendant. Okay. Welcome, honored guest. To the Mandeville Gold Saucer, while your wildest streams are ever but a card of Chocobo's beak away from coming true. If this is your first visit, nothing would please us more than to give you a full tour of our establishment that you might enjoy its wonders to the fullest. Limited time event. I, I didn't even get to read that. Oh. The limited time event Air Force One is now underway in Round Square. All guests and encouraged to participate. At the conclusion of the tour, it is our custom to offer our esteemed patrons a complimentary gift straight from the vaults of our illustrious proprietor himself. Consider it Mander Lord Vanderville's way of personally thanking you for your patronage. Should you wish to take the tour, pray proceed to the main co counter over there and speak with the receptionist. On behalf of the management, may I take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the gold saucer. Rest assured, my colleagues and I will spare no effort in seeing that your visit is a pleasant and profitable one. May fortune smile upon you. A profitable one? Fucking casinos don't work if it's profitable for the patrons. We got bunny people. Hello? Yeah, I know I can hide my hat, but I, I don't like constantly going to the UI to be like, hide hat, unhide hat, hide hat, unhide hat. I'm just hoping I just get a better hat soon. There is a ton of fate stuff that happens. Oh, there's fate stuff here? Whoa, this map is colorful. Oh, there's things here. Passion for fashion. Whoa. Hitting the cact pot. Love that. But great for beginners to learn things. It's called the slice is right. <laughs> or you can do what I didn't pay. Play cuff a curve for 30... Six consecutive hours. I don't hate myself that much. Air Force One was a fate. Oh, what's Cuff Occur? One of you guys has a quest I gotta turn in. Welcome, traveler, to the Gold Saucer. This is the main counter where you can purchase tickets for the mini cock pot, acquire and redeem Mandeville Gold Saucer points, and much, much more. What is the world of Mandeville Gold Saucer points? I hear you cry. A most astute question, and one that I shall be only too happy to answer. But first, if I may direct your gaze to your left. Beyond those majestic gates, you will find Chocobo Square. Home to the Chocobo Racing Circuit. I, what Chocobo owner has not dreamed of bidding their fleeting bird against the realm's finest and post-quickening dash to the fame and fortune. Truly, it is the sport of sultans. Hello. If you desire a more elaborate contest of strategy, you will surely find it in Minion Square. At the Lord of, of Verminion Tables. Where you will be gener where would be generals pit armies of minions against one another in battles for honor and glory. Now what were we Oh yes, Mandeville Gold Saucer points. But simply, MGP, as we call it for short, is the currency by which dreams are bought and sold within these halls. But my associate here beside me, you don't have anyone beside you. Can tell you much more, including how to go about acquiring uh, some MGP on your very own. Pray speak with him to continue your tour. Is it you? MGP exchange, okay. So you're about to experience the wonders of a gold saucer for the first time! How I envy you! Oh, but before you get venture for us, you'll want to exchange a share of your guild for MGP. A service which is my great honor to provide. With MGP, in your coin purse, you'll be able to enjoy all the fabulous attractions we have to offer. And all the wonderful games! If you play with them, then with skill you'll find your little sack of points increasing 10, 20, even 100 fold! Now that you know the fundamentals, you're ready to step out onto the floor of the Gold Saucer. Your tour will continue at Cod Square to the southwest. The Cod Rider will be there to your BL guide. I would, of course, be happy to exchange some of your guild for MGP before you venture on. While my associates and I strive to leave nothing unexplained, there are truly no substitute for first-hand experience. And I heartily recommend trying your hand at our manious amusements for yourself. I did it. There's little markers here. Gold Saucer employee. My god, this place is full of people. Welcome, welcome, fellow traveler. Go to a test for lost with mini cockpot ticket? Sure. Splendid miss! Now allow, allow me to explain. Mini cockpot is a game of chance. Available to you thrice every day. Playing, that's how they get you to come back every day. Playing is simply simplicity itself. Just guess the value of the coveted num or covered numbers to win it big. If Naimela's grace is with you, you'll be rewarded with Mandeville Gold Source of Points galore. So miss, don't you feel lucky. You can now purchase up to three mini cockpit tickets for today. The counter for mini cockpit tickets resets daily at 9 a.m. 
Each mini cactus kit has nine slots arranged in a three by three grill. Each slot is randomly assigned a number from one to nine. When you purchase a ticket, sing a number number will be Is this fucking Sudoku? If you play, uncover any three other numbers based on the information, guess the sum of each line. Finally, select a single line. The payout on GP will depend on the total and sum of line you have chosen. No, it's a solver. Purchase a mini cackpot ticket. I'm afraid you lack the points to play. Oh, shit. Oh, I need MGP. Oh, there's someone over here. Tournament ranking. Hello. Well, aren't you just the sweetest thing? Welcome to Card Square, home of Triple Triad tables. I don't like her voice. What's Triple Triad, you ask? Why, only the mind bending, pulse pounding man in Lee Morse. Morse card game that's taken the realm by storm. Oh, don't take my words for it. Behold! Why is she... She's on drugs. She's on ecstasy. That's what people on ecstasy do. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Boop. Boop. I booped the snoot. I did him. Can you not feel the tension in the air? Form a hand of five cards and play the role of a field general sending a bravest into battle. Should you wish to learn the rules and experience excitement for yourself, you need to only ask. Start today and we'll even throw in some complimentary cards to help you on your way. Are they like collectible cards? You can face off against a single opponent at any time. Or, if you crave an even greater test of your skills, take part in one of our regular tourneys. And believe me when I tell you, there's no feeling quite like standing triumphant on the battlefield after being vanquishing all comers. You really should try it. A minute to learn, a lifetime to master. That's triple triad. Ah, oh, but I'm getting carried away. You have a tour to finish. Wonder Square is your next destination, not that there's any hurry, of course. If you'd like to play a hand or two before you go, you need to say the word. Thanks. Have a good one, you. <laughs> Bruh. I hope you sleep well, my dude. I appreciate you popping in. It's good to see your face. Triple Triad Master. Triple Triad is taking Azoria by storm. Here, try a hand at this enticing new card game. Yes, I don't have any MGP. And so other challengers born. Welcome to the world of Triple Triad, where you put your hearts against an opponent's in an intense battle of skill, strategy, and the odd dose of luck. Here at the Mandeville Gold Tosser, I'm pleased to present all the new players with the cards they need to get started. To play a match, however, you first need to build a deck composed of five cards from your registered card list. Oh, and I suggest you speak with the nearby Triple Triad traders should you wish to expand upon your card collection. There's a fucking brick. To enable to challenge opponents to Triple Triad matches, new cards can be obtained from a number of sources, including the Triple Triad Trader, victory spoils from winning matches, and prizes from Triple Triad tournaments. Play against Triple Triad Master to learn the basic rules of the game before you can begin. However, there are several steps that must be completed. First, you must use the cards in your inventory to register them to your card list. The card list can be viewed from the view of the gold, gold saucer options found under the character. Next, access your card decks, also located in the gold saucer options, and build decks by selecting five cards from which you have registered. Speak with the Triple Triad Master once your deck is ready and she will engage in a tutorial match. Before you can create a deck with your new Triple Triad cards, you must first claim them. Open. Yeah, I did that. Once you have built a deck, once you have claimed enough cards, you can make a deck at least five. Select Gold Saucer from the character menu. From there, select Card Decks and begin building your masterpiece. Once you have built a deck, all that's left is to find an opponent and challenge them to a match. If you have any questions on how to play Triple Triad, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so. Entries for special limited time, and I'll close. There you go. Save. Ready for a match? Are you? Wonderful. I'm afraid I must deduct a number of MGP as part of the Triple Triad regulations, but rest assured the victory shall win you back those points and more. Now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce you to the game that is sweeping the round. You will now be invited to a Triple Triad match. Select challenge to begin the game. I don't have the money. It's fine. What is this? World of Wonders. Was that like a hollow deck? Have I touched the shard? Nope. There's two right next to each other. Hello. You look lost, honey. Why don't you show you? Why don't I show you around? It'll be nice to talk to a woman for a change. Feast your eyes on Wonder Square, from gripping games and all inspiring attractions to the finest and fine dining and the freshest of the refreshments. There's no end to the wonders housed within these halls. And let's not. And let's not forget the most wondrous of them. El Colosso, as we lovingly call our mammoth cactor mascot, is a star of some of our most popular events. Suffice it to say, you won't 
want to miss them. Now I know what you're thinking. With everything going on in the Gold Saucer, how can I even ever hope to keep up? But you needn't worry, my fellow gatekeepers, and I will always be on hand to see that you don't miss a thing. For the continuation of our your, your tour, I've been instructed to direct you to the waiting arms of my colleague Valeda at the Cap Hot Board. She's one of our most popular girls, and once you meet her, I'm sure you'll understand why. Well, ta ta for now. Bye bye. Wait, there's no shard here. You lied to me. It must be underneath me or something. Holy crap, this place is colorful. How does this work? Ah, shards. Oh, Valeda. There she is. Ah, oh, there you are, my darling. I've been waiting for you. I'm Valeda, and I'd like to personally welcome you to the event square. The most spacious of all the areas of the Gold Saucer, Event Square is a veritable cornucopia of pleasure and delight. At least a sizable stage in the middle of the square has caught your eye. That is the scene of some most sensational attractions, so don't be shy about taking such a stage. But after the certain curtain has fallen, why not try exchange changing your life forever? At the Jumbo Cat Battle, all you need is a handful of MGP and a head full of dreams. Just choose four numbers and cast your hopes to the heavens. You never know just when... I may have a smile down upon you. That is just, just, I'm just assuming this is just a lottery ticket. Now, as much as I've enjoyed getting to know you, I'm afraid it's time for us to chart. The next final leg of your tour takes you to the round square. Don't think too hard about the name, my darling. Even if it's just, even I'm not sure it's supposed to make sense. Mwah. Bye bye. Jumbo Cactopot Broker. Welcome to Jumbo Cactopot. Where the Azoria of your dreams is only a footage space. Can I tempt you in a ticket, miss? Sure. Excellent. Let me enlighten you on how it all works. First, you purchase a jumbo cat pot ticket for me. Then you pick four lucky numbers. Any from zero to nine that tickle your fancy and inscribe them upon your ticket. After that, simply wait till we announce the winning number to see if you have any matches. Check your digits from last to first. The more matches you have, the more Manda Little Goats has sports you win. If all your numbers match, then ding, 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 ding. You've hit the cat pot. You'll receive the embarrassing large number of MGP and an extravagant prize besides. And with Jumbo Cat Pot, the more participants there are, the grander the prizes become. Just imagine how many MGP you'll stand to win if all your friends and allies join in the fun. When the local, when the time comes to draw the winning number, look no further than the lovely Cat Pot cashier. She will provide you with everything from first prize to consolation prizes. Last but not least, I'll be here to assist you day or night if you ever have a loss. You can all purchase Jumbo Cackbot since it's a winning number for this lottery will be drawn every Saturday. Okay. After drawing, you'll have until the following Saturday to claim your prize. Once this one week period ends, please be aware that you will be on a multiple claiming prizes from previous drawing. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I just got a thing. Oh, fuck! I could have done that earlier. It's fine. I got some MGP. No, I don't want to waste my money on a, a lottery ticket. We're going this way. Cuffa Kurt. Oh, this is what you guys were talking about. That guy's cool. I want to be his friend. Oh, is it a punching game? How the fuck do I get over there? It helps that the colors are kind of lead you to it. Whoa, I like this place. This is pretty. I like this. I told you to expect. A thousand welcome to the Gold Saucer. A thousand welcome to the Round Square. How can a square be round, you ask? I'm not sure I understand the question. Moving on to the more important matters. Is that lofty peak? Not a sight to behold. That is Mount Coral, the main attraction here at Gold Saucer. One of the most thrilling events pits our customers against each other and it challenges you can most swiftly scale its heights. Tell you the view. I tell you, the view from the summit is a sight to behold. And that concludes your tour of the Gold Saucer. Well, I'm sure you're eager to start enjoying yourself. Pray do not forget to return to the main counter to claim your complimentary gift. Okay. I learned things. Touch the shard. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, let's go get my prize. Hello. Welcome back, honored guest. I trust that you've come away from the tour with a great appreciation of the Gold Saucer has to offer. As a token of our appreciation for your patronage, it is my great pleasure to offer you a complimentary gift from the person of all of our esteemed proprietor. You'll knock me down from a, with a chocobo's tail feather. 
Is that the new customer I see? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, wait, it's someone else. Well, knock me down with the tail feather. Chocobo tail feather. Is that a new customer I see? Ha <laughs> I can hardly have picked better than time to drop in for an impromptu inspection. Hello. M M Master Roland. Yes, this is the lady here has mo but this moment completed her introductory tour. <laughs> is that so? Well, then allow me to personally welcome you to the gold saucer. I'm Roland. Good madam, the fellow entrusted with overseeing the daily affairs of this fine establishment on behalf of our steam proprietor. A great man, if I ever, there ever was one. You are an adventurer, yes? Ha, your dress and bearing told me as much as I dare say then that your travels have seen firsthand the difficulty shit plague our nation. Witness the struggle of a lot of Mielgo's displaced masses and those whose homes were consumed by the fires of the calamity. The Sultanate is not unsympathetic to their plight, of course, again. How one began to be right sucker to those countless multitudes. What man had the answer? God Bert Mandeville had a dream. A dream of a house of untold wonders that could provide stable employment and lodgings to the displaced. A mirth and merriment and disconsolate the propriety and plenty to the Sultanate at large. To many of our patrons, the gold saucer is merely a Zoria's foremost entertainment venue. A place to forget about their cares for the day. To me, it is one of the founding stones upon which our realm will be rebuilt. A miracle wrought by the hand of the greatest man I'd ever know. This guy's doing scratch to get... Something tells me you understand that which I have told you. That you perchance shared a similar dream. But I shall keep you no longer. Gold saucer not wonders await you, my friend. Pray you enjoy your heart's content till we meet again. May the spinner's pole be ever kind. Oh, heck yeah. Give me five of those. I don't want to search for it. I want to open it. Why can't I open it? Oh, redeem for one free play at the Manderville Gold Saucer Mini Attractions. That's why. Okay. Thanks, friend. Who had the... I thought there was... There you go. Maybe not. There it is. This guy. Sure. I thought I got a mini thing. Or a free thing. Okay, select a slot. Let's see how this works. Mini Connect Pot rules are simple. First, you select three numbers from the eight hidden on your ticket. Next, you select one of eight lines. Vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. I don't get it. A, B, F. Once you've selected a line, all the numbers are, are uncovered. But the sum of the three lines... All the lines are uncovered with the sum of the three in the line you choose determining your MGP payout. It's that easy. Uh... Select a line to add up. Oh. Oh, I think I understand. So, if, so if 17 is 111. Oh, there isn't one for five. That's a bummer. I guess we need to do this one. Okay, wait. Oh, because the, the, the hidden number. Okay, sure, I'll play again. Ooh. No! Damn it. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get stuck doing this forever now. So there's one to nine, right? So there's three, four, seven, and eight. Sweet. Okay, well, that's interesting. Stress cards. Sal, what's going on, friendo? Um, yeah, I, I just won some money, I guess. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Where's that? I think Josh wants me to try this, this thing over here. A tank for virgin to other people didn't even give one command, commendation to you. Tanked. Wait a minute. Is Birch high enough level to do dungeons and stuff already? Ready for a match? Are you wonderful? I'm afraid I must detect a number MG. Yeah, yeah, I figured that. You already told me that. Just did her first. Oh, what level are you? Dang. Are you past 20 already? Uh, challenge. With this one. Triple try is played by placing cards on a 3x3 three three guild. The player to act first is decided random. A variety of rules exist to change out the game's playing, but let's start off with an easy one. All open. This rule allows you to see. Fuck! I'll prefer to show you the one's done. I'll look at the time. Okay. Blue turn. Now it's your turn. Place a card in one of the empty spaces adjacent to my card. Here, have this guy. See how my card changed color? This means you have captured the card. What? During your turn, even if you play a card with a smaller number, it will not result in the card being captured. Try to capture control more cards when your opponent. The match will end when all spaces. Cap. You gotta explain what capturing does. You can't. Bruh. Okay, maybe it's those numbers. Yeah, it's those numbers. Okay. So I should get that one. Okay. 
Okay, I think I understand it. Interesting. Okay. I like the music. Oh, I gotta go first. Why is it doing the trial version again? No, dick. Oh, well done. Now that you have an understanding of the rules, it's time for you to go forth and seek out many triple triad players here in the old roster and the world beyond. The game is gained an ad and following and sure you'll find willing participants in various lo locales across the Eurasia. In addition to challenging your fellow adventurers, you also can play triple challenge triad matches against NPCs who are marked with a special card shaped icon. I didn't skip that, but okay. Wow. Okay. You have now entered the world of triple triad match play. Oh my God. There's game in your game. Okay. Open and inviting. Uh, nope. Jonas of the three spades. Let's challenge him. A is ultimate. What's A? Lady Luck left your side the moment you arrived at my table, friend. She's dining with me this evening and toasted my victory at the tears of your defeat. Okay. Oh, I get to see his cards. I didn't think he would show me that. Well, that guy's a dick. That guy's also a dick. Shit. I'm gonna get my ass kicked on this one. Why you gotta be a dick? I have too many threes. Okay, so what happens when we draw? All open, same. I don't know what that means. Dead rat thing sucks. Haha! -ha! Suck that. No! I thought I won. A appears on a card. Oh. I just has gnarly higher cards. There, he could have taken both of them. I could have been bad. Shit. Don't take it. No. Oh, I won. I mean, wouldn't it just be you play like that? Was it Ari Ford? Did he not give me? I thought I got special cards from him. <gasps> I did. Oh, oops. I already have that one. Okay, I did a thing. Let's get out of here. Um, <laughs> let's go back to doing what I was originally planning to do. Hi. Uh, let's go back to Limsa. Oh, it takes a lot of money. I guess it makes sense. Do 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 do. Cool. All right. Um, let's go to the Drowning Wench. Dungeon Center 15. Oh, I should probably go do one of those at some point then. Okay, what do we got here? We got Marauder, Culinarian, an Armor. Yeah, I want to be an Armor. Oh, a person to talk to. Hold on. Welcome to the Drowning Wench. Sit where you like, lass. 
It'll be with you in it. Huh? Hi. I'm better run. All right. Who's asking? All right. I heard I got a job for your cable venture, you say? Well, you bloody rat. I keep changing their accent and voice. Just got fairly warned, though. This ain't no job for the faint of heart. Things liable to get downright bleeding, Harry. But if you think you're interested, let me know and I'll fill you in the details. Oh, I gotta, gotta choose one of these. Whoa, I want that. It looks like a Jedi thing. Where is it? Oh, it's the same thing. Damn it. It's fine. I thank you for your time. Take me help you out. Now I'm sure you're busy, so I'll come straight to the point. Where it is that some suspicious looking buggers that have been sneaking out of the stash of sea grot. And I need trust you sort of set it. Sort of it up north. Elport and find out who they're, they are and what they're up to. Don't sound like much I know. But if it weren't long ago when the flashbacks pit pirates paid us an unwelcome visit. And folks are feeling a bit nervous. If you would permit me, Master Baderon, I should be happy to elaborate. Oh, someone else. If you permit me, Master Baderon, I should be happy to elaborate. Look at her pants. Well, if it ain't cheap, yellow jacket, Mrs. Zale. You do what I owe this rare honor or Commodore Rayner. Come to make sure your patrons are behaving or just thirsty. Neither. In fact, I was informed that you had requested an adventurer to assist in the investigation. I came to offer what information I could sift from recent reports. Over the course of the past moon, there have been several sightings of an unfamiliar vessel off the coast of Aleport in the vicinity of the Isles of Umbra. This information came to my attention no more than a few weeks after a squad of my own soldiers had completed a routine patrol of the region. The Sestasha Seagrot included. Their search revealed little save that a family of calls had taken up residence in the caves, nothing to concern us in short. In light of the recent developments, however, it seemed wise to search Sestasha again. But with the Sahagin testing in our defense daily, I am loath to assign the task or limited forces at my disposal. Our line is stretched as it is. Thus, I sought the service of a competent adventurer to conduct an investigation in our stead. Any aid you can offer in this matter would be greatly appreciated. Then it is settled. Sestasha is located in western Lanosca, or Nausea. For more detailed instructions on how to reach the place, as is thus you consult Vlamilipa. She can be found at the fairy docks in the lower decks. You're the- You're the man! Good luck to you, lass. Hey! It's Birch! Look at the mama. That's Birch. We all know how it feels to have one too many. That's why it's not fault of rotation so much to close out on tables. There's too much to ask that they keep their belongings in their purse when they leave. It wouldn't bother me so much if half of them didn't show up a week later. Ranting and raving as they're drunk and heedless was somehow my fault. Take this impressive looking journal right here. As oft used as it seems to be, I have no doubt his owner is tearing up in search for its prized possession. A stranger. He was a small thief. No getting. Who enjoyed his drink, seemed to be gathering on well with one of the regulars. Cantanian, perhaps you could still catch up with him and spare him the headache. I'd offer you a free drink, but last time I did that beta and dropped my wages. Oh, that's a fucking sucks. There it goes. It's a birch. There you go. I did it. Oh, and it's a bear! I was like, hey, look, this big yellow guy, Josh would like him. It's Josh. <laughs> Keep opening the things on accident. Oh, Josh, you're you're opening trade. I thought I kept pushing a button. You're going to give me 100,000 gil? Are you serious? Are you rich? Are you seriously want to give me 100,000 gil? Fund your teleports. <laughs> you're well off. Are, oh, you, you did say um, you, you were max level with professions, and apparently that's how you make money, right? Is this actually a name? Should dog G What the? Someone just rolled their face in their keyboard. Are you that brave woman or a fool friend to be wandering the streets on limbs at night? With that slash of fisherman's bottom on the loose? We've not heard. There's a madman about. Why is it said he's brandished his blade so long and sharp that it could cut a whale? No one's seen any blood yet, but that's hasn't stopped the rumors from sending shivers up spines in every ale house in town. That's adorable little wind-up brick man. That you're still standing before me telling me don't scare as easy as the rest. Perhaps you could assist with the investigation. 
Those thoughts where they might want to look into the screen. I just heard outside. <laughs> Alright, fucking... I'm not talking to all these people right now. That's a lot of people. I want to go... I need to, um... Sure. XP bonus. So do I have to be near you to get the XP bonus? I suppose we can jump on Discord, huh? Although, I only have to stream for 15 more minutes. We have to be on the same map. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. And do... Oh, here's the disgruntled madame. He's not gonna let me in there. Okay. Well, how's... How the fuck do I get that? Oh. Aha! Found it. There's... Oh, is there two jobs here? Oh! Hell yeah, they're both here. That makes my life easier. Unless you're blind and deaf, I presume you've wandered into the forge of your own accord. Drawn by the siren song of our smitty's hammers, no doubt. In these here hollowed halls, Limbs' finest pound metal in all manner of tools and weapons, and when I say Limbs', I mean the whole bloody realms. Make no mistake, ye need more than a big arm to join our ranks. But if you're, ye got iron in your veins and builder's blessings, speak up. Sure, I'll be a blacksmith. There, well, you're not short on confidence. But do you really know what you're getting yourself into, lass? How's the trade born of blood and brine? For as long as the pirates have sailed to Rotano, smithies have forged their weapons and fitted out their ships from keel to cannon. Of course, still sealed swallows all, ain't just an idle saying. Finally, through even the stoutest iron given time, and our forebears long struggled to forge more rust resistant alloys. Oh, you guys are using party chat, and I'm like, what's this blue stuff? Lucky for us, the smithies have held were a determined bunch and clever too. So when they learned that the kobolds knew something of advanced metallurgy, metallurgy, the smithy sent out to make their own. Thanks to the kobolds' wisdom, which they generously gifted us with only the mere, merest hint or pirately prompted, the, the men's son Smithen came on leaps and bounds. It wasn't long before the Gridanians and Uldan started on our knowledge like we did the kobolds, though. And so, some 150 odd years ago, two particularly forward thinking men named Thayor Naldic and Bryce Vamele had the bright idea of establishing a respectable business. Being fair minded fellows, they'd sell their whales to anyone who had the coin, pirates and foreigners included. And when folks weren't inclined to pay, they made sure to remind them that they hadn't completely forsaken our pirate ways. Times have changed though, and we've a wee bit more willing to share our wisdom these days. The company's been running the Blacksmiths and Armors Guild for years now, welcoming any soul with the necessary talent and will to work. And, and to whether you, you've got enough of either, well, that's for the Forge Master to decide. Speak to me when you're ready to present yourself to him. So what'll it be, reckon you've got some what it takes to train the best go god seems blacksmith in the realm? Sure. Ah, that's the spirit. If you take any longer to decide, I'd have told you to bugger off no matter what you said. Can't have horse adventures wasting Forge Master Bethel's precious time. See? We've got our irons on the fire. That's why me and the other lads make a point in keeping idlers, imbeciles, and other otherwise unqualified from getting in the light. Anyway, it's time you went and paid your respects to the man. He's the one over yonder making a face like he's carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. Alright, let's just do both of these at once. Santa hammering? We use it from the street, did it last? It's well that you find the din inviting in the armor's guild, not the place for quiet reverie. In the chant, in the clangor of metal strike and metal music, ears may have she the spirit of a shipwreck. Are you mind to join our guild? Take it from me, lass. There's no credit joy than working a shapeless lump of iron under a shining breastplate with your own hands. What say you then? Sure. Well said, lass. Now you should cover a bit of old guild history of four forging ahead with the formalities. The armor's craft is an offshoot of blacksmithing. Time was when armors and smithies were one and the same. But as the years trickled to the techniques of work and sheet metal and armor, plates became a specialized trade. And the smithies, who showed uncommon skill and passion for the trade, earned themselves the title of armor. Now you can probably imagine the skills necessary for making armor are also needed for shipbuilding. But building ships is a bit harder than knocking out simple helms, which led those armors who were good enough to work on boats to claim the title of shipwright. Of course, it was one thing calling armors blacksmiths and shipwrights armors, but it was quite another calling shipwrights blacksmiths, because building a ship and making it a hatchet, making a hatchet couldn't be more different. It seemed as though a line being drawn, and seen as how Limson Lominson was built on the strength of her navy, you can imagine why the armors had chose to cut their ties with the smitties and establish the guilds of their own. As for the smitties, well, the whole notion of the independent armors guild never did sit well with them. And there's been a far, fair old rivalry between our two factions ever since. 
all just trying to outdo each other we are. Which is why I'm wherever on the lookout for new talent to help us keep the Smitty Fatters and Bastards in our place. All you do is impress the Forge Master and we can start you on your training. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick up both. See what happens. Be forewarned, Forge Master. Our Nazis tongue can strip the scales of a fish back at 40 paces. Saying that you won't find a fair mistress this side of the Strait of Mirrors or... Let me know when you've mustered the courage to speak with her, and I'll see to the rest. Make your mind up, you ready to throw in your lot with the us armorers? Then it's time you made yourself known to the Forge Master. It's no empty title, by the way. Naz is renowned for Shipwright, and one of the finest crafters in Limsa and Lominsa. Head outside and you'll find her blistering the skins of our newest initiates. <laughs> Hello. Look, she's got fucking sunglasses. They're, they're forged glasses, but they look like sunglasses. Another aspiring armor. Another aspiring armor. Are you? Welcome. I'm the other forge master of this guild. I take it for longer has explained to you the history and nature of our craft. Good. I have little to add on that front to save this. The life of an armor is not an easy one. That guy's name is Touch Me Sama. Day after day, you will pit flesh and blood against the iron and flame. Without passion for the forge, you will fail. But passion alone will not make an armor of you. To truly master this craft, you must be possessed of will and unyielding as the metals you work. Knowing what lies before you, have you the fortitude to persevere? Ha! <laughs> I see you have no fear of hard work. That is well, considering your quest to join the guild approved. But if you ever give... You ought less than your best, you will be out the door before you realize my boot has connected with your backside. Are we clear on that? Good. Now that we understand each other, let us begin with the basics. What is your name? Faith. Very well. Faith. This tool is called the doming hammer. Here, grip it firmly. Note its weight. Doming hammer. Let me know when you feel comfortable with it in your hand. I'll tell you if you're holding it properly. Equip. I'm naked. Ah, oh, yes. I didn't know better. I think you were an armorer, Faith. That guy's name is Fjorg Fjorg. Of course, I do know better. Until you craft something with that hammer of yours, you'll look like a babe with a rattle of me to me. I have no intention of mothering you. Make no mistake, I mean to shape you to an artisan, however hard I have to pound. I like her. She's cool. Save your sweat for the forge, lass. I don't expect you to fashion full suits and plates on your first day. Just pay close attention to my instructions. Be diligent in your work. And skill will come in due time. Now let's be on about your first lesson, shall we? I want you to take up your hammer and make me a bronze ingot. A mundane task, I grant you, but one which every armor must muster. Bronze, you see, is the most basic material of the craft. And bronze ingots are the building blocks. It is not the strongest of alloys, of course. Or alloys, of course, but it is the very quality that makes bronze so easy to shape. And the metal of choice for an armor's armor. Before you get, you need to procure two chunks of copper ore, a chunk of tin ore, and an ice shard. The ore can be purchased from so I'm so I'm by here at the guild. The ice shard you have to find on your own. Well, are you waiting for me to swing your arm for you, or may have you would like me to swing my boat? Synthesize the bronze zingert for Forge Master and Nyaza. Using two chunks of copper ore, a chunk of tin ore, and ice shard. We can crafting process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. Okay. Sweet. Where's the other person I got to talk to? There you are. About time, Randwolf. Send me a new recruit. Ah, it's been too long. <clears throat> I'm Chris Hale, Forge Master of the Blacksmith's Guild. If you're aiming to become a smithy worth the name, it would be my great pleasure to educate you on the finer points of the craft. Ah, the rest of these sour-faced bastards will tell you it's hard, grueling work fit per the best have been brightest, but I say put a hammer to the hands of the willow and see what happens. What'd you say that then, lass? Will you swing a hammer for old Brithel? <laughs> I knew I'd like you the moment I set eyes on you. Uh, what do you say your name is, Skin? Faith Gainsborough. A name fit for a hero if I ever heard one. In fact, I reckon I did hear it in the bard song once. Or was it that poor sod cursing in his cups at the wench? Ah, don't matter. It was saving the world or cuckolding your husband. Really? It's time to forge yourself a new reputation pound on a new legend. And you can trust old Brithale to keep, help you do it. 
But there's no put in the cart before the choke boom. Here, Lance. Take this cross pine hammer and smithy with. Smithy without a hammer is like me without a drink. Bloody useless. Well, don't just stand there gropping at her. Take her to your hands. Have a few practice swings, whatever you fancy. She's all yours now. Ah, uh, what I wouldn't give to be right now, alas, a smithy never forgets his first hammer. Your girl is in chocobo today? Holy crap. Can you get a chocobo that soon? Dang. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. I appreciate that, dude. If you're going nothing, just power through sword. You'll get roughly 300k when you reach heaven sword. Oh, nice. Um, okay. Where's the next place I'm going? Let's go to the culinarians guild. Now rule, Gamaz. You're already at level 19. Oh man, you're, you're my level now. And it starts at 20 for a chocobo knot. Gotcha. Wait, where am I? There we are. I'm gonna be a cook. I beg your pardon, good madam, but this is the Culinarian's Guild. If you are here to dine in the Bismarck, one of the waiters there will be a long sword to show you to your... Oh, you're not a patron. Might I assume that you wish to become a Culinarian? If so, I wholeheartedly recommend you join the Culinarian's Guild! Where one might learn the culinary arts of the finest chefs in all the realm. What say you? True. Wonderful! Then without further ado, I shall acquaint you with the history of our guild. As you are doubtless aware, Limsen Lominza has been long been the gastronomic capital of Eorzea. The city's rich culinary tradition is the product of a unique combination of factors. The first are proximity to the fertile lands and the plentiful seas of Valbrand, which have ever yielded bount bounteous prod produce. The second is our standing as the realm's foremost trading port, which grants us access to not only exotic ingredients from faraway shores, but also to foreign merchants versed in their use. We are, in short, the beneficiaries of culinary knowledge from every corner of the world. Until recently, knowledge of this kind was passed on solely through world map, and was therefore susceptible to corruption and loss. But all that changed when one man made it his mission to catalog every recipe of note. His name was Admiral Veloskif. Baldwin Vincent, wow. Also known as Master Mass Cleaver. The man's love of fine cuisine was such that at sea he would regularly spend as much time preparing meals in the galley as giving commands to the bridge. It was none other than he who founded the Culinarian's Guild and codified cooking methodology. Today the guild carries the Baldwinson's legacy through the scope of our endeavors has expanded significantly. Not content with simply preserving existing recipes, we lay retired to devise wholly novel culinary, culinary creations with which to delight the senses. To this end, our doors are open to folk from all walks of life, including adventurers such as your good self. One may liken our guild to a great pot of stew, and each member of an, to an ingredient parting unique flavors. As with every dish, however, adding ingredients willy-nilly is certain to spoil the taste before you make your Take your place in the pot, and you must be deemed a worthwhile addition to the guildmaster Lingset, a man whose passion for cookery burns hot the, hotter than any oven. Before troubling him, I must warn you that ours is truly a sweltering kitchen. As such, you would be well advised to ask yourself, can I stand the heat? If you e e earnestly believe you can, speak to me once more, and I shall be glad to guide you through enrollment process. So you have resolved to walk the path of the culinarian. Wonderful, then you must speak to guildmaster Lingset at once. This will come as no surprise, but he is the first, he's the finest shift of Limsen Lominsa. His skill and dedication are second to none. You will find the guildmaster on the stairs yonder, keeping a watchful eye on his chair, on his charges. Impress upon him your desire to learn, and will surely find a place for him in your, you and his stew. By which I mean the guild. There he is. Just creeping up here. Hello. Well met, you adventurer. I take it you want to join our guild. Let's have a good look at you then. Ah, what an under, underfed whelp like you know about cooking. Judging by the um, scrawny arms of you, you'd struggle to lift a spoon, never mind a skillet. Really? I'm just a conjurer, bro. Ah, I jest, I jest. I don't take muscle on... It don't take muscle to be a culinarian. Else it don't even take talent. That's not on its own. No last, more anything else. Becoming a good cook boils down to passion. If you got that, you ain't nothing you can achieve. So tell me. I've got it. That's the spirit! Ah, oh, your passion for the culinary art is plain to see. Then you be needing every bit of it if you want to become a master culinarian. Why, if master is 12 course in it, I'd hardly have finished the soup. Make no mistake, our trade's as tough as old mutton, and, and passion's the only thing that gets us through the grisly bits. But enough talk. What do you call yourself? Well then, Faith, welcome to the guild. To mark the occasion, I present you with your very own skillet. Sweet. Can I use that as a weapon? That'd be great. 
ain't much to look at, but I'll be more in service. A little more servant novice like yourself. Now then, let's see whether you can tell which ends which. Aye, aye. I know I said you'd struggle to lift a spoon, but you've won me over. Now show me you can, old skillet, and I'll give you a start of your first task. It's like the first nice skilled master. New. There you go. How many... How, how many jobs are there? So you choose adders, pirates, or flames. Okay, so I haven't tried gotten that far yet. I'm down to pick up botany. Oh, dude, I'm just, I was just grabbing everything. <laughs> I definitely need botany, though, cause if I'm going to be this tailor kind of person. Marauder. Okay. Bismarck. Okay, I'm slowly figuring out the map stuff, I think. I think I got all the, the things here. Where am I? Okay, I need to, I need to get the hell back out of here. Oh, here we go. Uh, I don't think I want to go to the lowest level. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. I'm at the place to botany. Oh! Sweet. So wherever you're at, I need to get to. I just teleported into a lady with under her underwear. Do you show up on the map? <gasps> Fisher! Fisherman's Guild. I don't have that yet. Man, this fucking... This place sucks. Navigating this place blows. Why am I going into the dungeon? This doesn't seem safe. She's got a pretty dress. I recognize this music. Is this the high wind music? Gridani is for botany and carpentry. Oh, okay. So I need I was I need to go there next. Well, I will wish and welcome to you, adventure friend. <laughs> I will welcome Well wishing welcome to you, adventure friend. You've worked your way to Fisherman's Bottom. Well, when you want to fish for a day, you come you can call a culinarian, but we fishermen feast for life. I've set the bait, and you're ready to bite. Hooray, hooray, looks like I've got a live one. Let me walk you through the life of fishermen in Limsa Lamons Lominsa. So since we're surrounded by the seas, the fishing sites are a, a fisherman's delight. If you can't fish it here, you can't fish it anywhere. While some of us rope our fish in with rods and reels, others skim the seabed with nets for our creepy crawly critters. You might say we cast a wide net. People prattle on about pullers just about everywhere in Limsa. And there's much more I've mentioned. The shepherds, the ships preside over the ports, manage the mongers, all while making sure not to leave any adventurers out to sea. I'll wager you prefer to work alone, so I'll set you off with a rod and reel. Now you may not necessarily net the number of net fishing yields, but pole fishing positively pulls prettier prizes. She's all about the alliteration, I like it. And that's the long and short of it. When you're ready to, for another bite of bait, I'll reel you in for more before the guildmaster. I'd hate to hear you change of heart. You haven't, have you? Spoken truly like a true bespoke fisherwoman. Well then, it's time you met the guildmaster. But unfortunately, unfortunately, and somewhat ironically, our nefarious netmaster is out fishing at the moment. This moment and every moment, that is. So Sisipu tends to tend to, to tasks that require tending to. Such as deciding whether you'll sink or swim in our, with our guild. Sisipu is presiding over those pools. Whenever you decidedly decide to say hello. She might seem somewhat standoffers, but she's only keeping an eye out for sharks. Be yourself, and you have nothing to worry about. I like the way she talks. What is your outfit? You're like in a maid cat outfit. Oh, it is you. Oh, wait. Is it you? Oh, shit. No, you're not. Yeah, hear about the Commodore Reynolds investigation, then you'll want to bury the ferry about the airport. Once you arrive in Western Lanasia, you'll... So you'd best pay a visit to the Hall of Novus before blunder into a disaster. The Adventurer's Guild- Look at the little mouse thing with the creepy hands! The Adventurer's Guild runs the hall and the folks there will prepare you. Train you with your skills you need to face the dangers undoubtedly waiting for you in secret. The hall is on the way to Sestasha, just north of Aleport. Head inside, one of their seasoned adventurers will take you in hand. Best of luck to you, friend. Okay, well, I finished that. Let's go back up here. What the fuck is this person? Over here? This does not feel like I'm going the right way. And I do not like this city. How the fuck? Oh, I thought I thought they said they're outside. I thought they said they were outside. You're looking for sharks in this indoor pool? Yes, yes, save a breath. I heard every word between you and your Yamilika. So um, I know she told you my role here. As she said, well, while Argo's supposed to be a guild master, but apparently he has bigger fish to fry, so all his work falls to me. That includes making sure new fish aren't shellfish, idiots. Aren't shellfish idiots or potential anemones. You'll pass the first test by not laughing at that awful joke. 
Now you only need the right answer to this question. Are you prepared to fish like you've never fished before? Well, you're smarter than the majority of bottom dwellers that find their way here. Welcome to the guild. Now, this wouldn't be much of a guild if I sent you out to sea with only a pole and prayer, so I suppose I can spare you a few parts pearls of wisdom. Nevertheless, you're going to need the pole and prayer, so I can at least provide you with the former. Here you go. One out of two isn't bad. I'll even throw in some lugworms, since you're not like to go far without bait. The ones we would sell on new fish are priceless objects, which is to say they don't cost anything. <laughs> Once you know what you're doing, you'll probably want a proper one. But in the meantime, let's see if I can figure out how to hold your pole ready. Um, don't hold my pole. Once you figure out how to hold your pole ready, the one I gave you and your lessons can begin. Fishing log obtained. Okay, readying your pole. To fish, you must first change your class to fisher by equipping your- Yes, that makes sense. If the body of water you are near fishable, the icon of the cast icon will glow. Determine the bait to apply, selecting the bait icon. Some bait can only be used in certain locations for landing types of fish. Bait and tackle can be- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can be harvested and made by disciples of the hand, or purchased from various merchants. Always make sure your inventory is stocked. Okay, that's fine. Cool! We're going to Gridania! If I can find my way back out of here. It's really gonna suck when I find out I missed one somewhere. Gatekeeper. Is that... Or the gatekeeper, is that the icon I need for the, uh, the flight people? I thought her name was Jasmine, but spelled all kind of crazy. It is. Okay, gatekeeper. I kind of figured it would be a zeppelin, but... Alright, let's go to our hometown. I just spent an entire stream <laughs> picking up freaking jobs. All right, Carpenter, it's right up there. Let me get out of here. Dooney tune. Eh. All right, teach me the ways of the wood. Greetings, adventurer. Welcome to the Carpenter's Guild. We are the artisans who take wood and grant it new form and purpose as the archer's bow, the lancer's spear, and the novice's shield. If carpentry holds any appeal, you should consider joining our guild. Might you be interested in learning the ways of woodworking? Sure. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, before we proceed, I think it only right that I acquaint you with the guild's storied past. Since the founding of Gridania, we have built our homes and crafted our weapons from the trees of the Twelve's Wood. As our nation grew and prospered, the woodworkers' repertoire expanded to encompass a greater variety of articles, and carpentry developed into an art. At first, there was no association of carpenters. Each individual worked and sold his services independently. However, the advent of water mills meant that more efficient construction methods were needed. Along with formalized maintenance regimes, all the other, all of which necessitated organization, the Carpenters Guild was founded to oversee the operation of water mills and promote cooperation between woodworkers. Now I must mention at this point that we owe much and more, much and more of our prosperity to the Great Loom Growery. Thanks to the hardworking botanists, we are blessed with the finest lumber of, in all of Azoria, Eorzea. This confluence of ideal circumstances allows us to provide all manner of goods and services to the people of Gridania. My apologies, that was rather longer than I intended. Still, I trust you have gained a greater understanding of our guild. We expect our members to drink deep of the collection of wisdom that the guild has amassed over the course of history, to actively seek an understanding of wood and the techniques required to work it, rather than simply waiting to be taught. We expect, in short, nothing less than a total commitment to the craft. If you wish to start down this path, speak to me once more. I shall explain to you the enrollment process. Would you like to learn more about the enrollment process? Of course. Wonderful. I should mention at this point that the timber master Beaton assesses all would be apprentice personally, so you would need to obtain his approval before you begin. Timber master Beaton can be harsh and unforgiving men, but if you love the craft and have the will to learn, you could ask for no better tutor. He is quite simply the finest carpenter in grid on you. Of course, it will take you some time and no small amount of effort to comprehend the full extent of his teachings, but you may rest assured that he will not lead you astray. That said, when you meet him, I would advise you choose your words carefully and uh, resist the urge to run away. <laughs> Everyone's a dick. It looks like he's got birds on his shoulder. Another green adventure to come to play with Saws. Well, then I suggest you speak with the... Oh, you've met with Coral, have you? That is well, but you know that the decision to initiate into the guild rests with me. Tell me true, adventurer. Have you mind to devote yourself to the art of carpentry? The look on your face bespeaks determination. Or mayhap trapped wind. Still, you look strong enough to hold a star, and if your resolve is indeed genuine, I give you leave to remain. 
for the time being. However, you are useless to me in your current state. You are as a seedling. Some potential, perhaps, but no more like to thrive. But no more like to thrive than perish. Experience is what you require, girl, and I shall give you the means to acquire it. Take this saw. It is old, yes, but sharp as be need be. Now, prove to me that you are not completely incompetent by taking up the, your new tool. Once you have done so, present yourself to me for inspection. Put on a saw. Good. Now that you've proven you know how to grip a saw, but do not mistake it for me a tool, for it is a part of you. Of your arm. Now you can put down the part of your arm, no? Mark me then. If you do put it down, it worse lose the bloody thing. I shall use mine own song to demonstrate to you the pain of losing a limb. Ah, but I jest. When arm carpenters are scarcely half as useful in my experience. In any case, merely holding a saw does not make you a carpenter, whatever might some might think. You must become one with it and learn to feel as it is your work as you work the wood. To wit, you must first know the wood. Demonstrate your knowledge by bringing me a length of maple lumber. Maple lumber is made for maple logs, just so. Our man Farrell, by the entrance, will furnish you with such logs for a nominal price. Of course, any fool knows the fresh cut logs are laden with water. To guard against decay, we use wind jars to hasten the natural drying process. Do not forget to do the same. Oh crap, I, I probably should have done the, uh, the confirmation quests for all those, the jobs. Oh well. How come the botanist guild doesn't have a, a marker up there? There's no markers up here. That's weird. Let's go to the lizard workers since I have a teleport. See, this one has a marker. Weird. Hello. Greetings and welcome to the lizard workers guild. Guild. Here we produce the finest leather goods, taking care, care to honor the lives which were sacrificed for their creation. Our leather arm is worn by the archers and lancers of this great nation, and forfeited by all who prefer that their protection does not come at a cost to, to mobility. If you wish to place an order, I bid you visit Fen Yi Fineries. Fenil? Fenil Fineries. Fineries. If, on the other hand, you have a mind to join our guild, I should be happy to assist you. Might you be interested in becoming a leather worker? Nothing would make me happier, happier, happier than to welcome a new initiate to our ranks. However, it is essential that you first understand the burden that every leather worker must bear. As you cannot have failed to notice, the Twelve's Wood is blessed with an abundance of life, and we Gridanians have long hunted the forest creatures for both the nourishment and clothing. But Gridania is unlike any other place. The elementals that watch over the Twelve's Wood have never looked kindly on the taking of life, and those who flout their governance do so at their own peril. The elementals decreed that life not be taken without due necess necessity, and so the Trapper's League was formed to regulate uh, the hunting of animals. The Leather Workers Guild was sub subsequently, uh, subsequently founded to manage the fair and equitable distribution of pelts. Nowadays, adventurers are a major supplier of pelts, and leather goods have become widespread. But in times past, they were rare and precious. The Leather Workers Guild has not forgotten those times. We treat leather with no less respect than the living creatures whence it comes and craft goods on the highest quality. In so doing, we honor the lives lost and minimize the need of further killing, an oft-forgotten benefit of our products surpassing durability. Our guild is also the sole producer of the famous Feniel brand of leather go goods, the pride of Gridania. These products represent the ultimate expression of our core tenets and the transcendent techniques which shaped them. Know, though, that being a guild member does not automatically make you a Feniel artisan. You must earn the right to become one. For most of the leather workers here have the fruit of their labor bear the fruit fennel brand is yet a distant dream. That is life which awaits you should you choose to walk to our path. Success will not be handed to you, but I guarantee you will have the opportunity to seize it. So if you wish to make a name for yourself and craft goods which are envy of all, you have come to the right place. Speak to me once more if you wish to learn more about the enrollment process. Have you decided to join the leather workers guild? Very well. I invite you to speak with Guildmaster Giva. She's a brilliant artisan, personally responsible for the creation of countless fen fennel projects, or products. You have doubtless heard her name before. The Guildmaster's patterns are uniformly elegant, and with them even novice craftsmen can cut their materials with minimal wear, waste. It is for her to decide if you are to fit to join us. She can be found in the work area for within. Present yourself to her and do not waver in your determination. Yes, sir. Oh, I like this area, it's a big open area. So, you wish to become a leather worker? If you've spoken with Randall, then you've been told what it means to work with leather. The weight you must carry is the responsibility you must bear. 
Not just for elementals, mind you, but also the guild. Our craftsmanship is unrivaled and each member is expected to live up to their reputation. Once you join, there's no returning back. If you dishonor us, I shall flay you myself and make a chokeable saddle from your hide. Why do you swear to uphold our tradition to the best leather worker you can be? Very well. You may learn our craft within these walls. Though you seem little equipped to do even, do even that, I will give you a head knife to help you on your way. But the rest is up to you. Do not presume that your association with us means your work will bear the Fennel name. Until you prove yourself worthy, you will not be permitted to so much as touch a Fennel project, much left craft one. Now then, if we're to continue with your initiation, you'll need to put that knife in your hand first. Talk to me when you're ready. Well, you've passed the first step, gripping your knife by the handle and not the pointy end. Now it's time to see how well you can wield it. Make me a zergo le leather. You'll need an animal skin to do so. Newcomers to our craft can imagine they need to hunt in order to obtain their materials, but if you have the sense the gods gave in Chocobo's ours, you'll realize that's hardly the case. All's gift of where the receptionist sells most of the items commonly used in our craft. However, she cannot supply you with earth shards. And that's it for my advice. The rest is up to you. Once you made the circle of leather, bring it here to be inspected. I can't say that I have great expectations for your work, just to see if you can do not waste good skins. Now I'll wait with you. Neat. Alright. I think one last thing. Yeah. Let's go to the botanist. How many gather professions are there? I think I only got like two. Hello. Oh, it's you. I talked to you before. Hello and welcome to the botanist guild. What we'll bring you to here today? Hmm. Interested in becoming a botanist, are you? I think I've talked to him. At least I recognize his name. Then you've come to the right place. At our guild, you can study under some of the finest botanists in all the realm. An enticing proposition, is it not? So what say you? Would you like to add your name to our role? Excellent. Now you're deadly secret to, di to dive headlong into the nearest shrubbery. But first, a brief explanation on the origins of botanist guild. Our guild boasts a long history. Its roots can be traced back to some 500 years to when our nation was still in its infancy. It was around that time that a precursor organization to our own established to facilitate communion with the elementals. Ah, I suspect you're already confused, not being forced forest born. Let me put it the way that you kind would understand. That Wells Wood doesn't belong to man, but almighty beings known as elementals. It is by their leave that we Gerdanians dwell here in the forest, and it is by their leave that we receive its bounty. Ever since mankind settled in the Twelve's Wood, it's been necessary for us to obtain the Elemental's permission prior to taking aught from their domain. Historically, this was rather involved process in that only precious few could actually commune with them. Specifically, those conjurers blessed with the ability to hear the Elementals, aptly known as hearers. In order to relay ele the Elementals, I will the Elementals will to the botanists in a more timely manner, a new organization was formed with a hearer at its mouth and ears. The organization will eventually evolve to become the Botanist Guild. To this day, the guild employs the services of a hero who offers guidance to our members. If this is no longer our organization's sole concern, we also seek to prom 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 promulgate correct harvesting practices. That is, practices which honor the will of the elementals. And that, my friend, is the story of how our guild came to be. I trust you have a newfound appreciation for the work we do. Now, with all the talk of elementals and communing prayer, Mayhap, you're wondering whether you're fit to join us. Well, you may cast such doubts aside. You don't need to have been raised as a good little forestborn girl to be a botanist, nor do you need to know the secret forestborn salute. I guess you just need a healthy respect for nature and the will to learn. If you honestly believe you possess these things, it would be my pleasure to recommend you to our guildmaster. Please wait a moment while I see to the formalities. Speak to me again when you are ready to begin the enrollment process. Ready to enroll the botanist guild, I take it. Music to my ears. It will be my pleasure to re refer to you a guildmaster Fifuka? Whoa. Our guildmaster's knowledge of nature is second to none. One need only witness her uncanny knack for spotting the finest timber to see that hers is a truly God's given talent. It is for the reason that she holds the title of the first botanist. Oh, but you need not to be not be overawed. Overawed. She has for she is the kindest of souls. You'll find the guildmaster just outside the building. Seek her out and impress upon her desire to become a botanist. 
Hello, friend. Fufuka. That's her name. I am Fufuka, the master of the guild. Please make your acquaintance. I take it. The Ancelot has given you an overview of botany already. Well then, I suppose I'd better continue where he left off. All Wudanians may rightly claim to share a close relationship with nature, but none is so intimate as that of the botanist. It is our calling to nurture the nature, natural environment to the mutual benefit of man and wood. And even as nature holds us in our loving embrace, providing for our every need, she is at the heart of unsentimental creature. One that will take life just as readily as she gives it. Being a botanist means coming face to face with this uncomfortable truth on a regular basis. Knowing this, we still wish to walk our path. The look in your eye bespeaks the passion in your heart. Very well. I bid you welcome to the botanist skill. I'll help you on your way. I present you with this hatchet. Take it up and then present yourself to me again. I would assign you your first task as a botanist of the guild. Equip. Just to make sure. And then... Save. And talk to you again. I see you have a hatchet on you. Very good. A botanist hatchet is his livelihood. Never forget this. If you fail to keep its blade clean and keen, Rabbits will yield, but you, but not of sweat and splinters. But then, I see you about your first task. Ah, yes. To help you grasp the basics of botany, I would like you to gather ten pots worth of latex. Force yields to us many and more, many and more resources. It is the botanist's job to know what can be found and where. If it is latex you require, you would do so well to search just outside the blue badger gate or the yellow serpent gate. Seek out the mature trees that stand in those areas and put your hatchet to use. I wish you well. Botanists use hatchets and other cutting tools along the forest of Eorzea to gather material used in crafting. Trees that are probably for longer known as mature trees. If you look at mature trees, take your way out of the city and use the botanist action known as triangulate. Cool. What main quest you want? Um, the main quest I just got to, I just had to talk to the, th the three people in the main cities. I think I might have all the, all the jobs. Hey Josh, do I have all the jobs? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight disciples of the hand and three disciples of the land. Is that is that all of them, maybe, perchance? No, I don't care about those. I want are these called difference? I I was gonna say, what are the hand jobs? <laughs> It's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Minor, but okay, I got them all. Sick. Oh, I should probably go repair. My, my stuff's kind of jacked up. There we go. Cool. Why do I heal for so little all of a sudden? Oh, I don't. It just didn't. It didn't fill my bar immediately. Rawr. Okay. I am resting. I'm going to. I want to go. Before I log out, I want to check out the, um, the character creation for the dragon people. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whoa. I'm blue, I'm deep at the Um, let's see. Who bloody the land with endless tribal conflict? The rain have embraced the life of tranquility and solitude. Interesting. Sure. These guys have more decks. Sure. I just want to look at them. You're a tall boy. Tail shape. Oh, be very spiky. I like that one. Wow, these guys have a crap ton of hairstyles compared to the the Hrothgar. Wow, they they go full anime. Yo, Sephiroth hair. Whoa. <laughs> Love it. What is that called? A pompadour? Something like that? It's like a real haircut.
Whoa. Oh, yes. Here's how you do the heterochromia. His eyes not changing color. His eyes didn't change color. Limbal ring. Oh. What's a limbal ring? Cool. Oh, and then you can change the color. Whoa! Wow. Okay, that's kind of cool. Lipstick. Oh, you, you put the pieces on them. Got it. Jeez. Purple eye shadow. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, she looks cool. She has a split face color. How'd you do that? She looks awesome. I'm gonna save her. Cause she looks cool. I don't know what they're called. Random is cool. There you go. Neat. I like her. She's cool looking. All right. I did this whole stream. Except for running around picking up <laughs> um, jobs. I guess that's the word. Um, but I got to end here because um, you could have done a dungeon. Yeah, but it's like 11 o'clock. And I... Overtime. Overtime. Nice. And my brain, once, once I have like a goal, I have to go do that. So I did that. So next time we play, I guess... Um, I got a lot of stuff I can do. Plus, I got a, I have a lot of stuff I can do. I have all those stinking uh, jobs I can do at any time. I'm just kind of neat. Um, we can do some dungeons. Also, I'm, I'm about to hit level 20. So, that sounds like you get a chocobo at that time point. Also, this, the, the line there, or the split. I kind of, I just watched an episode of One Punch Man where he punched in and like split all the clouds. I kind of look like that. Also, I don't want to see that because Josh said there's major spoilers in uh, those cutscenes. But my dear friend Renos, I appreciate you guys here. I did not realize I was 45 minutes over time. But uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun. Um, if you guys did, 
Remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt an old shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. I'm surprised Jada has not woken up yet, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'm invasive. Sleepy one over there, Jada. Gonna go give her some foods and put some foods in my mouth. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Are you hungry? Let's go get some food. Come on.